I think we're fine. I pressed start streaming and it like didn't, I don't know. It sat there saying it was connecting for a while, but I think that we're okay. I think that you can see me, right? Everything's fine. I hope I don't have any internet problems today, because if so, I'm going to be really upset. I want to play Sims 3. <laughs> I came here because I want to game. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome back. We're going to play some Sims 3 today. Um, well, I'm going to try. <laughs> I uh, Currently in this household, we've got like so many kids. We have four kids. I'm pregnant. I've got my boyfriend and my ex-husband living here. Um, there's just a lot going on. There's just a lot, and I'm a little bit nervous about it. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna play some Sims 3 today, uh, and it should be fun. So anyway, hi everybody, happy Saturday. Uh, and Freezy, and Tori, and Slushy, and Paris, and Sid, thank you for the subs too. But it should be fun. <laughs> Live with your ex? Yeah! <laughs> Look, we got Trevor, who's the boyfriend. I got Benjamin, who's the ex-husband. Long story, but basically I've got them both here because I'm trying to make sure I don't have twins. <laughs> so if, if the household is like almost full, we won't get another baby. Um, we'll just have the one. Because I've got the fertility treatment, so I'm, I fear that my sim will have twins. And I'm doing my best to prevent it <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to show you, here you go. Um, I have that fertility treatment, so I've got a higher chance of having twins and triplets, which I don't want. <laughs> Not right now. We had two sets of twins already. That's enough. <laughs> I don't need more babies in this house. Just five. Just five. Um, also, Nicole and Austin and Geek Squad and Lilac and Chris and Lumi and Sydney and Fully and Nebula and Mallory and Allie and Solomon and Curious and, and um, Nicole, thank you all for the subs and stuff. It's just like a normal legacy, Rosa. I'm not doing a baby challenge. People always ask me that, um, like all the time. <laughs> um, and it's not like, we're not doing like a 100 baby challenge or anything like that. There's an aspiration in The Sims 3. It was called a lifetime wish back then. Um, but it's the same thing as like a Sims 4 aspiration to have five kids or to like raise five kids from babies to teens. Um, and so we're trying to do that aspiration, like do the five kids aspiration, because it's what I used to always do when I played The Sims 3 back in the day. So <laughs> uh, that's why, that's why, just because of the aspiration. If you played The Sims 3, you're probably familiar with that aspiration. But uh, if you didn't, you're probably like, oh my god, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> so <laughs> get overwhelmed with The Sims 3 because there's so much to do. Yeah, The Sims 3 has a lot, um, especially if you haven't played it in a while or if you didn't play it, like when the game first came out, there really is like a lot in The Sims 3. Like a lot. <laughs> you got booted out of the not so very VOD. Oh, because I went live, I'm sorry. Wait, is she not playing The Sims 4? No, friend, we're, um, play The Sims 3. <laughs> That's what this is. Uh, we play a lot of Sims 4, obviously, um, almost always, but we've been playing some Sims 3 recently because uh, we're getting excited about the thought of having like a family-based pack in The Sims 4, so we're playing The Sims 3's family pack, which was called Generations. So, do you like The Sims 4 more than The Sims 3? You know, everybody, I think that everybody, myself included, has a very nostalgic um, view of the older Sims games. I love The Sims 3. The Sims 3 was my first ever Sims game. I played The Sims 3 so much when I was a kid. Like, I love The Sims 3. I find it difficult to compare to The Sims 4 as far as like everyday gameplay goes. Like it's fun for me to play this game and I like going back to it and stuff and there's so many cool features in it, but I, I like actively dislike building in this game. I have to install a mod to make it run a little bit better. <laughs> like The Sims 3, I mean, it came out in 2009, right? So it has its problems. Um, it's a lovely game, but it has its problems. You know, The Sims 4 is a lovely, lovely, perfect game that actually runs on my computer compared to The Sims 3, which uh, has its issues. <laughs> so I think that I'm a little bit, um, I don't know, I look back on The Sims 3 really fondly because I have so many good childhood memories of it, but uh, in, in reality, she's not maybe as good as we remember, <laughs> just because it doesn't run that well. Um, yeah, it came out ages ago, The Sims 3 did. 
So Freckles is in your campsite. Oh my goodness, Sophie, that's exciting. Um, also Reina and Pluto and Janine and Mui and Fix and Mama and Anne and MC and Hope and Steven with the 62 months. Oh my God. <laughs> also Aggie and Illuminati and Gibby and Broken and Justice and, and Lovely. Um, and Zania and Brindleton and Boonfell and Tilt and Drenny and Azu and Lisa and Belle and Sunny and Crona and Bunsy. Oh my god, how much did I miss? Thank you all so much for the sub Samantha too and, and Doll. Um, no, I never played the Sims 1. Um, people ask me this all the time. I, I know that some people my age did play the Sims 1, but I didn't even play the Sims 2, like, when it was first out. I've played the Sims 2 now, but I didn't play the Sims 2 because it was, like, you know, I was four when it came out, right? And we didn't have a computer. Like, I didn't- I don't have older siblings that played The Sims. Like, I- I started with The Sims 3. Um, and when The Sims 1 came out, I was six months old. <laughs> um, and I- we didn't, like, have a, a computer that we were, were gaming on, you know? Like, we didn't- that just wasn't a thing that we were doing when I was young, so. My parents weren't into it. My- I didn't have older siblings, so. Um, I never played The Sims 1. I kind of missed out on that one. But <laughs> The Sims 1 came out, actually, 23 years ago today. Um, and I was born, uh, <laughs> 23 and a half years ago, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, I, I missed out on that one, unfortunately. Um, I didn't get a chance to play <laughs> The Sims 1. <laughs> um, and, and A, and Simply, and Paige, and Princess, and Lava, and Shauna, um, and Carly, and Ray, and Frog, and Samantha, thank you for the subs and stuff, I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I don't mean to make you guys feel old, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just answering a question, I swear. Um, okay. Oh, can't intersect modular stairs. What are you talking about? Okay, that's what I thought. This game is weird. This game is weird. Um, okay. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think, to catch you up to speed, on this household. Um, I was kind of, last time we played, I, I was kind of expanding the house a little, but I didn't have enough money to actually furnish it. <laughs> so I didn't even put doors into the new rooms. I built like a bunch of extra bedrooms and stuff uh, with the intention of expanding into them once I have some more money. I don't have enough money yet, so we can't do that yet, but we've got space to decorate once we make the money. Um, and the sims that we currently have in this household are the legacy heir that I made, legacy founder I should say, Ivy. Um, we've got her four kids. <laughs> we had a couple sets of twins. We had these two that are teens now, they just aged up. And then we have these two that are kids now. Um, she's pregnant. I also have this guy who's her ex-husband. He's the father of her first four kids. And I have this guy who's her current boyfriend. Um, and also our dog whose name is Fishfinger, and is a little bit scary looking. The reason that I have the ex-husband and the boyfriend living here is that I don't want to have twins by accident, because I currently have the uh, fertility treatment trait, and I don't want to have another set of twins, because I don't need to have... I'm sorry, but I don't need to have three sets of twins. I just don't. <laughs> um, and in The Sims 3, pets don't count as household members in the same way they do in The Sims 4. So you can see I've got seven Sims and I'm pregnant. This way I'll only have one Sim, um, one baby, which I don't want to have twins. So we'll have one baby. <laughs> and then I can kick out my ex-husband. So that's the situation. Uh, also this, I saw someone ask what is on the porch. That is the university mascot. My teens just became teens. So now that thing is here to try and get me to uh, enroll in university when we grow up. So. That's the thing. <laughs> that is what that thing is. It's just a person in a costume. It's less scary when you look at it from this angle. It is still a little scary though. <laughs> Still a little scary. <laughs> Local Honey and Marisa and Cece and Madison and Supper and Natalia, um, Scott and Ghost. Thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff too. Um, okay, I feel like I probably should just send everybody to bed, you know? Because it's, al it's already 10 p.m. I feel like... <gasps> oh my god, sorry. That just absolutely terrified me. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow, it was just the noise. The noise really surprised me. Um, I'm putting all the kids to bed. All the kids are going to bed. Everyone's gonna be in bed. 
And we're gonna have a nice evening. It's gonna be nice and casual and calm. That's all. <laughs> spiral stairs? Yeah, we got spiral stairs. We have a car. We have a llama mascot. We got all kinds of stuff in The Sims 3. <laughs> all kinds of stuff in The Sims 3. <laughs> Hey, also Magic and Kaylee and, and Local Honey, thank you for the subs too. Okay, what's upstairs? Oh, not much. I can't afford to decorate it yet, so. We're working on it. Once I get some more money, I'll be able to update it a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna keep sending my dog out to find me some collectibles. Because that'll make some money. And then we'll just wait through the night. We will wait through the night. You liked today's video? Oh, I'm glad! <laughs> That's good. Um, also, Heavenly and Sofro and Magic, thank you so much. Um, okay. What are you doing? The dogs, you can train them to hunt, and they can find you gems. And then I can sell them for money. Which is what I need to do, because I can't afford much. <gasps> you want to marry Ivy? Oh, we can do that. Okay. Oh, the storm's in the game, not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that is confusing though. No, it's raining in game. It's raining in game. Um, okay, I think I'm caught up with stuff and everything. We should be okay. <sighs> There's too much going on. It's a little overwhelming at the beginning here. <laughs> Just a little overwhelming. <laughs> Glaskin and Chris and Jesse, thank you for the subs too. Yeah, Edward's sick. Everybody's sick. Yeah, Ems, I have the gem cutter. We're gonna use it to try and make some money. Um, that's what this is. I'll show you all once we actually get to it. Um, I won't- I won't do it yet, though. Okay. Stiff out collectibles. Just a few more times. <sighs> okay. What traits do the girls have? Miss them aging up? Bestie, I have no idea. Family-oriented, eccentric, and artistic for Nessie. Brave, shy, and evil for Alice. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and their siblings are Charlie. Um, who is a cowboy, and Edward, who is not. I have too many sims. Don't feel like you're missing out on things if you haven't seen their traits or anything, because even I don't know what they're like. There's too many of them and I'm overwhelmed. So, <laughs> it's not just you. I too am overwhelmed by the, the sheer amount of sims in this household. Yeah, and they all have Twilight names. This is the thing. Um, I don't want to be characterized as a person who named her sims after Twilight. What happened was, my sim randomized the last name Swan, and I thought, oh, that's funny, I'll keep it. And then I forgot. And then we had babies, I went to name the babies, and I was like, chat, what should I name the babies? And then somebody was like, Charlie! And I was like, oh, Charlie's so cute! <sighs> Forgetting that Charlie's last name is Swan. So, um, Charlie Swan was born, and then I just decided to go all in with it. And then the next one was Edward, and then Nessie, and then Alice, and it's, it's become a thing. But it wasn't intentional initially. I was bamboozled. <laughs> in the beginning, I was tricked. It was chat, they tricked me. <laughs> it's not my fault, I didn't do it on purpose, I was tricked. Okay, you can come home, dog, please. Please. Very good chat, I know. They're really proud of themselves. I'm not sure about it. I don't know what the next baby's gonna be called. We haven't really decided, but I also don't know when it's going to be born, so we'll, we'll have to see. I don't remember, like, how pregnant my Sim is, and you can't see that in The Sims 3. It doesn't, like, you know in The Sims 4, you can see what trimester you're in and stuff? Um, you can't see that in The Sims 3, so I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> we'll just be surprised as soon as the baby comes. Are there more unpaused streams coming up? Do you know, Becca, I haven't done a Leaving My Sims game unpaused stream in a while. Um, it might be kind of fun to do, but I haven't done it in a bit, so... Maybe someday. Maybe someday soon, I don't know. Um, it might be kind of nice. I'd have to think about when. I'm like... Staring at my stream schedule. I don't know. It could be kind of interesting though Yeah, Samantha, I built this house. Um, you think it's well decorated? Are you sure? <laughs> it's empty upstairs. Oh my god 
I forgot about you going to work. Sorry. Oh, oops. Okay. I also forgot about the kids having school. So that sucks for them. Do you want to use the bathroom? You are. Okay, you're fine. Anyway, I don't have enough money to like properly finish um, furnishing the house. I had I just added the full second story and thought that like once I got some more money I would decorate it, but <laughs> we can't afford much. What's that? Oh, it's just a raindrop. We can't afford much. Okay, cut a stack of gems, please. Let's get going. Come on. Oh my god, if we did like an unpause stream with the infant update. <laughs> That would be wild. So this thing, this is the um, the gem cutter uh, that came with uh, with Supernatural, and I use it to cut the gems so I can make more money off of them. That is the idea. Two hundred and thirty-two gem dust. See, and I don't have to search for the gems because my dog goes and finds them. All right, see, that's a little bit better. We got a little bit more money. We could probably, if we wanted to, we could probably try and update this like a tiny bit. Maybe I'll work on the kids room because this room down here, do you know what I'll do? How about this? We'll have this room down here become the baby's room when the baby is born. And then I can give the older siblings their own rooms now. You know, that might be kind of a good use of our our funds. The teens can have their own space. How about that? I need to like turn on all the lights quickly. Turn auto lights, all lights, no? Wait, turn off, turn on all lights. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there is a move objects cheat, yeah, but I'm gonna, um. Avoid using her if I can. I think. Oh, that's annoying. Am I gonna be okay with that? I don't really care how it looks from the back, if I'm being honest. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so this room, which one should be the horse room and which one should be the... What is it? Oh, it's just move object space on to get move objects in The Sims 3. <laughs> it's really easy. <laughs> Anna, Adela, Sunshine, Aline, and Katie, and Sarah, and Joey, thank you for the subs. Uh, no, the gallery does not exist in The Sims 3, Jackson, like like in the way that you were familiar with. Um, in The Sims 3, we have what was called the exchange, which was like a, it wasn't in the game. You could like upload things on a website and like download tray files, kinda. Um, if you're familiar with that sort of thing in The Sims 4. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't like what you're used to. The gallery in The Sims 4 was revolutionary. <laughs> um, it was quite cool when we got that in The Sims 4. Okay, I'm gonna try and decorate these kids really, really nice custom bedrooms. Starting with this sim, because this one is more important to me. Um, this sim is my favorite because he has a bit of a horse theme. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually not kidding about that. <laughs> I really like this one. So I'm gonna focus on you, I think. Um, maybe I'll get like, I don't know. We'll get some custom wood on this. Honey, with the sub gift and the two month resub, thank you so much. And Hannah and Tella, thank you for the subs too. How's that look? Okay. Yeah, I, I, well, we haven't actually decided who the heir is going to be yet. There's definitely been talks about this horse guy being the heir, cause it would be kind of funny. You know, just cause he loves horses like so much. <laughs> um, but also he's one of the oldest Sims and we have to raise like so many more kids still which is really, really inconvenient. Um, but I don't know, we got time to decide on that one. We don't have to decide that urgently yet. 
who the heir is going to be. We can wait and see, like, what the, um, I probably shouldn't buy that yet. But we can wait and see, like, what the younger siblings are like. Um, maybe if a little bit more before we make any final decisions on who's going to be the heir. Because I don't want to regret my, my choices, you know? Concept boarding school. I mean, yeah, we could do that. That's always an option, uh, is sending the kids away to boarding school. <laughs> we can't do that. But I don't know. I'd prefer to not have to worry about it too much. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to make sure we have furniture in each of the rooms. Obviously, they're not like fully decorated yet. That one's going to belong to Charlie, who is the horse sim. Edward likes books. So I'll try and like pick a fun theme for Edward's room. Probably not that. <laughs> There's some really interesting options. It doesn't have to, we don't have to do a pattern. Like just because you can, doesn't mean that you have to, you know? Well, some of these are kind of cute though. Some of them are also kind of scary. Hmm. <laughs> Library thanks for the prime sub. I used to use this one a lot. Oh, that one's so nice too. They really gave us like so many options, huh? Oh, it's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> With the leaves. Oh, I use this a lot as well. I love this. See, that's actually really nice, this pattern. Ducks? Maybe? Oh. Hang on, I'm gonna grab this just with the intention of putting it in the baby room. Because that's gonna be so cute in the nursery. We can make like a little under the sea nursery, right? That'll be so nice. Okay. <laughs> Library, thanks for the prime sub. Um, is that space? We don't have to do a pattern. I could just do like, oh, that's kind of cool. What if we also just did like a, like a stripe or something? You know? Sims 3 is so nice. Probably not horizontal, but like a lovely little vertical stripe, maybe. See, we could get like a fun color. There's so much choice. <laughs> when you do this, you have so many options. We can get like a cool orange bed or something as well. This kid's room is a little bit smaller. Sorry to them, that sucks. Less cool space. Cursed carpet walls? Should I make it cursed? Or will that be sad? Like, shouldn't I actually try to make it nice? You know? <laughs> I'm right next to the prime sub. Um. I like this room. I like the combo, okay? It's actually nice. It's kind of cute. Yeah, this sim already has to have the smaller bedroom, so he deserves to have better than this. What were his traits again? Oh yeah, you like books. Okay, I could probably give you a bookshelf, but then I don't think you can have much more aside from that. For now, at least. We could get, like, some more stuff, you know, later. But for now, my main goal is mostly just making sure that... There's like stuff in the house. <laughs> we just want to have things, you know? Oh my god. Can I not lower that? Oh my god. This game is amazing. Aw, puppies. Okay. Help, what are we doing? I'm decorating um, a couple rooms for some kids in my Sims family. Oh my god. <sighs> Obviously not a lot of decorating. Just a small amount of decorating. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that can't be carpool for you, right? Is it carpool for you? Okay, go to work. Shoo. Okay, I gotta save again. They look like dorm rooms. Well, I'll add to them later. The problem is I only have 600 simoleons. <laughs> so I can't do as much as I want to. I would like to do more, but I can't do more. Why is there a bed in the hallway by the stairs? Oh, that's because my ex-husband lives here and he needs to sleep somewhere. Not exaggerating. I'll kick him out soon, but I can't kick him out yet because I need him to stay in my house uh, until I have my baby so that I don't have to worry about having extra kids. I don't want to have twins, so. <sighs> you can't make this stuff up. Okay, do you guys not have school today or no? I guess the school bus isn't coming, so maybe not. Maybe not. Where's Snap? Hi, Snap. Do you want to sit with us? Come here. You want to jump up? Stick the husband outside. The problem is it's raining. <laughs> I would, but it's going to be raining like all day. So that would be a little bit unpleasant for them, I think. Skipping school. <gasps> they are skipping school. The bus just didn't come for them. Bad. Bad. Come here. You want to jump up, Snap? Or you just want to play with your toys? Come here. Okay, you decide. You decide. <laughs> Whatever you want to do will work. That'll be fine. Okay. I made some pancakes. Lemon pancakes. Ooh. <laughs> Also, Sophie and Planet with the subs. Dino with the tier two sub. Thank you so much. Was that chair always in the background or is it new? Um, this chair's been in my background since I moved. <laughs> um, I bought that when I moved into this house. Um, but I, oh, thanks for being considerate and keeping your sick child at home today. Consider the hollowness of life. Huh. Sorry to hear you got sick. Feel better soon. Okay. Well, you're not going to school? Huh. Interesting. Well, I was going to say, this has been here since I moved a few months ago. A lot of people, especially when I first moved, they would come into my chat and then I'd be like, ha, huh, look at my new background. I just moved. And they were like, it looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same stuff plus a chair but they were mean about it they were like doesn't even look different yes <laughs> it's the same furniture <laughs> i brought the bookshelves and the same things that were in the bookshelves <laughs> but anyway it does look different if you compare it to like my old videos and stuff on my youtube channel um it's it is different obviously but uh, i understand that um it is the same furniture. So here, look, I'll show you. Go full cam in this video, Lil Simzy. No, why am I not going full camera in this video? Look, different, similar, but different. It's the same furniture. <laughs> but I didn't understand why they were mean about it. Cause like, obviously it looks similar. I brought the same stuff with me. <laughs> Okay, um, are you reading a pregnancy book? That's probably a good idea, honestly. When you want to have a child, chat with your son, have father read a pregnancy book, attend a free game at the stadium, that could be fun. Lighting feels softer in this room? Yeah, I have only one window now. I had, there was like basically a, it was, it kind of was like two windows, they were next to each other. So I had like a bigger window in the old room. So that might've been part of it. Um, also, I just have different lighting than in that old video that I showed you, so. Um, probably weren't trying to be mean. Okay, well, not all of them, Jen, but I'm telling you there were mean comments. <laughs> okay, obviously not everyone was trying to be mean, but some people are trying to be mean. And you know, because they're very mean in how they say it. <laughs> You'd be surprised just how aggressive some people can be on the internet. <laughs> I understand giving them the benefit of the doubt and stuff, but... Obviously, they weren't all mean, but a lot of them were, <laughs> and they meant to be. Um, we get a lot of weird comments here on the internet. 
Um, let's sign up for like the debate club. How about that? How about that? Today, can I tell you guys a secret about a thing that I like actually got upset about earlier? I was recording a video. Um, I was trying to like get the shell tours finished recording. So I was spending a lot of time on the gallery, right? And I think we noticed this yesterday for the first time on stream and I like deleted it on stream. But on my Sims 4 gallery profile, there were a bunch of comments about me having a baby. Like, I think somebody as a troll was like, congrats on the baby. And then a bunch of kids saw that and were like, oh my God, you have a baby? No, <laughs> I don't have a baby. <laughs> but all these people, and I'm not kidding, I deleted like 30 comments about it off my gallery today. And not just on my profile, but like on my builds. Like they went to my bills and they were like, I heard you have a baby. Someone said you have a baby? What baby? Congrats on the baby. And I think that the people that were commenting that, it was like maybe a troll that started it. And then a bunch of kids that like, unfortunately weren't smart enough to believe it, you know, like <laughs> um, they, they, you know, were kids and maybe their only social media is the gallery and like they, you know, but there were so many comments about it and I just like, why? And why on the gallery of all places, like, <sighs> anyway, so I don't have a secret baby. <laughs> I don't know when you think I had time to have a baby. I've been streaming every day for years, <laughs> but um, anyway, I was a little bit annoyed about that one. This is, this is the thing, right? Like being a, uh, a woman on the internet, unfortunately, means that people are just like this. Like, without, uh, just in every form. It's so annoying. <sighs> but, anyway, I just, I was really irritated by that earlier. <laughs> so I thought I would share. Yeah, it's spreading rumors in the gallery of all places, right? Like, why that? <sighs> I don't know. Um, so I was irritated, but it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, okay, maybe we should try and work on some skill building. Do you want to like, maybe you could, um, I was gonna say you could play chess, but I don't have a chess table, do I? Maybe you could just keep painting. Sell that. Go paint something again. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Morgan and Only Shadow and Lindsay and Veda and, and, uh, Navo and Love and Pastel and Jay and Ams and Tara and Fumbelina. Thank you for the subs. Um, you can leave your hat on. Oh yeah, he, um, the way that hats work in The Sims 3, they're not like, um, so you know how in The Sims 4 the hats are accessories? In The Sims 3, um, they're like a part of your head. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like pregnancy jokes. I just told you, I just told you that I'm extremely uncomfortable with this stuff. Like we just talked about this. It's like every day that I have to deal with this. I don't like it, so stop, okay? <laughs> it's like a super easy boundary to have. Um, just stop. <laughs> oh, it's really, and hi, and Jake, thank you for the subs. Okay, 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 okay. You can go on a field trip tomorrow, that's fine. That's fine. Um, Oh my goodness. All right, Trevor's left work today. My sim still has not given birth. Maybe as soon as Trevor gets home, we can try for, or try for a baby. I meant woohoo, we're already pregnant. <laughs> we don't need to try for a baby. I already did that. Um, my sim already did that. Jeez, okay. <laughs> what else does he need to work on for? Oh, he needs to get his athletic skill up. Maybe he could go to the gym and work on it then. Never mind, they can't woohoo. He has to go to the gym. It's more important. Can one teen learn the guitar for tips? Oh, that could be kind of fun. I can't really afford to buy one yet, but maybe I might like that if we if we tried to practice some guitar. Um, sniff out collectibles. Okay. Hopefully these this dog can get us some more money, you know? That is the goal. <laughs> When's Rick's birthday? It's on Monday. Um, Rick Astley's birthday is on Monday, so we're doing a baking stream on Monday. We're gonna bake some various kinds of rolls. I think I'm gonna make cinnamon rolls and a Swiss roll cake again. Um, that's my plan, at least. 
Uh, we did that last year and the cake was not that good. A Swiss roll cake is, you know, when you see those cakes where um, it looks like a spiral from the inside and it's like a rolled bit of cake and then there's obviously frosting. Um, last time, cause I've not ever, like it's obviously vegan cakes behave kind of differently and it was my first time baking one of those before, one of the Swiss rolls. So it kind of crumbled, it didn't work that well. Um, but I'm gonna try and make one. And hopefully it'll be beautiful and not a disaster. <laughs> um, that is my plan at least. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Okay, I had this sim working on writing, so I might keep that up too. We were, we've been writing a book, so she can do that. Did it taste good? Yeah, it tasted good. It just didn't, it wasn't like beautiful, you know? Cause those cakes, like the whole point is that it's pretty cause it's a spiral, but it just kind of crumbled. And so it was, you know, nice cake with nice filling. It tastes fine, but <laughs> It was like I tried to fold the cake in half, you know? Um, <laughs> it's always okay, but it could have been better. <laughs> um, yeah, I did roll it when it was hot. I, this, that's the thing, right? Like I did look up recipes. I read all about it before I did it and it still didn't work like that well, um, unfortunately, but I tried. Also, this sim went to a friend's house. Who's the friend? Dakota Fox, this is the friend. Interesting choice. <laughs> the Sims 3, you could do so much with, um, you could do so much with like the changing the Sims, the colors of their hair and stuff. This, this does feel like, um, talk about the hail, why not? Like a 2009 kind of thing. <laughs> this is my homework, this is the old homework from when he was a child. So we can get rid of that one. We could probably get rid of some of these books too that we don't need. I think the kid, yeah, you had to attend a free game at the stadium. Should I send the kid out by themselves to go to the free game? Is that like a, oh, I have to go on the weekend. Oh, well, never mind. I'll go on the weekend then. <laughs> um, Where's your homework? Oh, you're gonna do it. Oh. Cute, you can both do it. Okay. Decided what flavors yet? No, I haven't decided what flavors yet. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a lot more concerned about um, how it works than how it tastes. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's my real priority, um, is, is the, the look than the taste. But we'll try, hopefully it'll be good. Almost all of them are sick, yeah I know. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I finished writing it, we'll get some good money from that. Do you wanna write again? Start a trashy novel, how about that? Write a bestseller? How about that? No, these kids are, are teens, love crimes. Charlie's a teen, Edward's a teen. Edward's having some real problems. My friend Dakota's over here. Tell funny story. I don't know. So, oh, I don't know. We have a, we've got ideas. A, a strawberry one could be kind of fun, like with some strawberry filling in it. I don't know. Um, am I gonna stop either my legacies till the update? No, we're just gonna keep going. I think that um, if I stopped and waited for the update, I mean, it's like a month and a half away, you know? That's not worth it. So by the time the update comes out, we might even be close to having um, like, you know, if another generation or something. It's a, it's too long to wait to not play. We'll just keep playing and then when it's time, we'll, we'll do it, you know? Slightly under the baking the cake is the way to roll. I don't know, there's a lot of tips online. Um, I've read them. <laughs> Hopefully a different recipe will be better because it might've been an issue with that recipe too, who knows? I, and it was a recipe for a roll cake, but. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Why is LMAO censored? Bestie, that's on you. <laughs> you check your Twitch chat settings. You've got a, a chat filter on, on your end that's making that censored. If you ever see like asterisks, like censoring a thing on Twitch, that's your end, not mine. Um, the things that censor on my end, you just don't see them. They won't show up in chat. So you have a chat filter on, on your end. Um, so it's not, it's not filtered from here. <laughs> it's filtered on yours. <laughs> Um, 
Unless, yeah, unless someone tries to post a link in chat, that sometimes just makes it just asterisks. So, how do you change it? Press the little gear icon. You should see a chat filter setting. Um, and you can change it uh, based on that, I think. Fish finger found something special. Oh my god, the baby is coming. The baby is coming! Oh no. Also, I've got metal from fish finger. 370, that's pretty good. All right. Everyone's screaming. <laughs> Wait. The like absolute panic of my kid and my ex-husband about me having a baby right now. <laughs> I relate to that, honestly. If I lived in a house that was this full, I'd be stressed too. Okay, let's have a baby, shall we? Last one. Go to hospital. Here we go. And now I can kick out my ex-husband after this. I only have him here to take up a household slot so I don't have twins. Come on. <gasps> Go to the hospital. What are you doing? Get a move on. <laughs> Myru and Nunes and Spider and, and Mixie and Snowy and Looney and Lar and Little Angry Duckling and Brock. Thank you for the subs. Um, okay. They, I know the way they scream is kind of scary. Yeah, as if, like, my sim's in labor. What we really don't need right now is to have literally my entire family screaming at me. That's a bit much. <laughs> like, everyone screaming like that is a little overwhelming. You need to calm down. <laughs> literally screaming in her ears. <laughs> Sophie, I'm glad. I'm glad that it was fixed. Um, yeah, a lot of people, I always feel like people think that it's like me and I've got some really weird chat settings because I'm like such a weirdo, but then I have to be like, no guys, it's yours. <laughs> you have that chat setting, sorry. Um, anyway, it's a confusing one because you wouldn't know if you didn't put it on, right? Oh, someone else had a baby. Lori. Oh, our baby can be friends with that one. Congratulations on a new baby boy. What should I name it? Mike, Emmett, Jasper, Jacob. We don't have a Jacob yet. It seems like the obvious choice, doesn't it? Right? I feel like we should do it. Just because it is the obvious choice. All right, we randomize these. I already have a brave sim. Slob and athletic, okay. Okay. I'm extremely stressed out by the size of this household. Extremely stressed out by the size of this household. Would you just walk the baby through the bush? What are you doing? That is a newborn. What is wrong with you? Oh, I got a gem. That's good. More money. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough money to- oh, oh I do. Okay. I, I didn't have a crib before, so I'm gonna have to, like, decorate this room for the baby. I've deleted all my baby stuff now. We gotta get everything ready. Luckily, I only have one baby and not twins. So it'll be a little bit easier to deal with in here. <laughs> um, no, let's do a light orangey yellow color. I feel like that's kind of cute with the under the sea theme, right? We got that. Finally, we have no more babies after this too. That's gonna be a relief. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gold elbows and ash and whiskey and ivy. Thank you for the subs. Can I... I don't know. What kind of rug should I do? Ew. That looks like sand. This one looks kind of cozy. Maybe I'll do that in like a cute sort of teal color. But maybe I'll have like, no. Does that seem like it? Hmm. 
matches the room at all. It doesn't look good, does it? Maybe I could have the inside be like... I don't know, I just don't like it. Maybe if the inside were like a... No, that's ugly. What if it were like striped? Oh. Oh, it's even worse than I thought. Go back. Go back. You think white? I mean, it could be. It just feels kind of boring. Doesn't it? Maybe yellow? Yeah. I think I want it to be a solid color. Switch. I just don't like it. The crib color's throwing it off. No, it's the rug. I like the crib. It's the rug. The rug is horrible. Match it with the wallpaper? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was trying. Um, carpeting and rugs. We can just steal a color, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> Electrify Queen and Abs and Ivy, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Maybe I could do green. Maybe no carpet at all. I just really want to have a rug. This is a lot though, isn't it? It sure is a lot. We could try and do something like that. How about that? That's simple and reasonable. Okay. Let's stop it there. <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay. Um, Snap, I'm really trying to focus here. I don't need to buy like any real serious baby stuff yet because it's only a baby. Maybe what I could do is try and add to this kid's room because the siblings are a little bit older now and they could probably actually use some toys you know so maybe i'll make sure they have some toys in here that'll be good um we need like a playroom or something <laughs> i like the rocking horse that's cute I also would like to use bunk beds, but the last time that I put bunk beds in here, it didn't work. Like, I'm not even joking. I put bunk beds and the kids wouldn't sleep in them. So, I think that's, like, not a good idea. <laughs> I think that I should not do bunk beds. Um, are any of these things cute and simple? Like a picture of puppies! That's nice. Playroom upstairs for now. We could totally do that if we wanted to give him a playroom upstairs. I'm running a little bit low on funds. So I need to be like slightly careful about how much we're spending. But how about we do like a cute pinky color? Okay, ooh, set intensity, make that light dimmer. Okay, I like that, that's nice, right? They don't have a lot to work with here. Um, here, I'll give you this gem to cut for me, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Electrify, thank you for the subs. The puppies painting is base game, yeah, I think so. Um, okay. Yeah, and then we can always put... Wait, where are you? Are you gonna put the baby in the house? Cut that. Put Jacob in crib. Come on. Put the baby away. Put the baby away. Feed the pup? The dog's not home, that's the problem. It needs to get home. See, it's only finally just getting back. 
Um, it's, it's on the way. <laughs> it's been on the way. I can also move the ex-husband out now, finally. So maybe I'll invite over my girlfriend and move him out to live with her. Do you have any more toys for me? No? Okay. You could probably come home. <laughs> Okay, everything's fine. Is the TV backwards? No, that's the backing of the TV. You weren't the first person to ask that. Um, the TV is not backwards, as you can see. Um, okay. Everything is fine right now. Everything is fine and completely under control. Even though I have so many sims and I'm really stressed out. <laughs> is your girlfriend here yet? I didn't think to look if she said yes to coming over. I'll come over in a little while. Okay, I'll be able to move them out then. And he can live with her. <laughs> Abby, you liked your fine. Thank you for the subs. All right, how are all the kids doing? You're fine. Everyone can go to bed, which will be nice. Evil slumber. Here, you can sleep. Uh, you probably need to eat something. Are we moving out husband or should we rather kill him? No, I'd like him to stay around because the, then the kids can like see their dad and stuff, you know? I would feel a bit guilty about um, killing him and then having the kids not have their dad because he's dead. <laughs> How do you have so many kids? I've got five. It's a nightmare. I had two sets of twins. Two sets of twins. We can kill the boyfriend? No, we shouldn't do that. Oh, here she is. Maybe the wrong door is set as the front door. Oh, that explains a lot. Okay. Um, wake up. We're moving in. So is Jacob the heir? No, not necessarily. Um... I thought that I would probably have, I don't know, we really like Charlie Swan over here, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the number of sims that I have to raise. So I haven't decided yet. Go cosmic bowling. Skate on a pond with Alice. Interesting. You guys are really mean trying to kill all the sims. Oh, Go to bed. <laughs> Playing on the rocking horse while your sister's trying to sleep. Yeah, we just had the baby a second ago. His name is Jacob. Okay, now I'm trying to move in. Now I'm trying to move in. Okay. More... High five. Friendly hug. Um... Tell a story. Okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Happy thanks for the five months. Kayla, you did this to us? Made us obsessed with killing sims? Yeah, maybe a little. It was kind of my fault. I'm cheating his need because I'm just trying to get him to move out. Do you want to sleep over? No. I want to move in. Ask to move in. Okay, here we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to... Oh, can I not kick him out? From here? I need to like... Maybe I could do it from Edit Town. Is it cheating to move in partner before they are married? No? You can live with anybody you want. What does the yellow triangle say? Oh. I think it just is complaining about my household being full. Need to uncheck active household. Well, I still want that one to be an active household. So, I guess I could try and get them married, huh? Do you want to try and... Let's do this now. You just asked for to move with him? Well, Lily, I know. <laughs> I know. I was hoping like The Sims 4, you could switch it like that, but 
It's not as easy in The Sims 3. I'm used to playing The Sims 4, you forget about little things like this, you know? I don't really want to have to do it through Edit Town. Um, I would prefer to avoid that if possible. Obviously I can, but... Um... I want to get married, can we not? Do you want to marry me? Leap into arms? I guess I can just do it for out of town. Use move? Can I, can I put him in her house from that though? Like from moving with the phone? It's not letting me propose to her very easily. Which is kind of concerning. No, she's not married. So, yeah, I need to do it from Edit Town, I think. Um, not from, like, the phone, like you think. <laughs> um, Abby, Electrify, thank you for the subs. Not from the computer either, I don't think. Not, not to be able to get into her house. Okay, come on. Gotta unclick main households? No, because I think that's gonna make me switch into their household, Misha. And I don't want to switch into their household. Um, I wanna- I want to switch him out of my household. <laughs> so I can split up the household like this. I can get him out. And then I gotta find where What's-Her-Face lives. Oh, I probably should have checked that first. What was her last name? Do you remember? Oh no. I'm silly. Parrot, that's right. Anybody remember where they live? Fox. Kohler. Bedlington. Johnson. Lionheart. Parrot? 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 No. Parrot? Parrot? No. No. <gasps> Parrot! There we go. Place. Here. Okay. I got him. Did I place you in there? Okay. Whew. It's an ordeal. And then you have to load, like, so far. <laughs> JJ, thanks for the 313 sub. And Abby, too. Thank you so much. Is this Gen 1? Yeah, I just started playing this a few weeks ago. Um, probably figuring that out. Oh, I knew how to do it. I was just hoping that I could do it without having to go to Edit Town because it takes a while to load the Edit Town mode. Um, but it's not terrible. Oh! <gasps> I didn't even notice that we got Tiberium. You don't understand. This is the stuff that grows. If I leave this out, it's gonna grow and turn into a thing that's worth like 30,000 simoleons. I'm not kidding. Specifically the Tiberium is the good stuff. Oh, that's so lucky. Okay, see it's worth 7,800 right now. It's gonna grow if I leave it out. I'm actually not kidding. I haven't done that in years. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, let me make sure everybody's in bed. You're in bed, you're in bed, you're in bed. Who am I missing? Oh, Jaslyn's here. Can you leave? <laughs> I didn't mean for you to be here. Auto lights, all lights. Jaslyn, get away. Oh, I forgot I have a baby. Oh my god. Here. Come take care of it. Change diaper, give bottle, play with. What's your problem? Lonely? Okay. Don't change diaper. Don't bother with that. Can we use the boyfriend to redeem points for the inheritance? I don't think he has enough points. He only has 3,000. Unfortunately. It's kind of ruining the vibes. So, <laughs> I forgot I had a baby, I said. Yeah, well, it was only born a second ago. I was distracted. Oh, the carpool, cool, carpool for treasure will co Trevor will come in an hour. I can't speak today. 
Eat leftovers, get a hot dog. You're going to work today and you're gonna get me a lot of money. Do you understand? It's urgent. Points for inheritance? Yeah, um, you can buy in The Sims 3. Uh, there's a lifetime reward um, that you can buy called inheritance and it gives you like 30,000 simoleons. You can also buy this uh, little like bottle that you can wish on like a genie bottle and with that one if you wish for money you can get a lot of money. But I find that to be a little bit too much. But yeah, it costs 30,000 points to get the inheritance so we can't quite afford that. I've done it before. We already, that's how I have this house, is by buying it once. <laughs> but we don't have enough for it to buy it again yet, so. Yeah, you get 100k from the genie. And that's, I feel like the genie is a little bit much. Like, it's a, it's a little on the extreme side to me. The amount that you get from the genie. <laughs> What's on the front porch? Um, that is a thing from, I'll show you in a sec. Let me just get all my sims ready. Uh, on the front porch, that's a thing from university. Um. Your sims, uh, they come and they bring it to you when your sim ages up for, into a teen. Uh, with this, I can take like an aptitude test to try and get a scholarship to university. Um, and I also can get some like university freebies, like some swag and stuff, basically. Um, yeah, the toilet definitely could use a clean. <laughs> that house is so gross. It's almost Nessie's birthday. Oh, yikes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, also Lil Bird and Ashley in India, thank you for the subs. Do you want to maybe take a shower? Upstairs. You're fine for now. You could probably also take a shower, but your siblings are... ...using it all. I only have space for two bathrooms in this house. Yikes. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. <laughs> uh, Jenna, yeah, I got tickets to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour. Um, I got them when they were on sale. I was miraculously lucky enough um, to get to get them on the day. Um, so, yeah, I've had tickets. I'm excited about it. Maybe off the kitchen. Yeah, I think when we move the kids upstairs, I'm probably going to... Uh, switch some things around, maybe make this into an ensuite bathroom, and then I'll, I'll rearrange like all of this area basically. So, that's the idea. Okay, you have not showered yet, and that was maybe a mistake. I'm gonna say she did actually shower. Okay, because that that is a good thing. Oh, I didn't finish sleeping. Oops. Okay, and you have maternity leave for three more days. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, go to sleep. Well, once this grows, we're gonna have so much money. That'll make things better. Grandma's second cousin, Bertha, sent Jacob Swan a special gift in the mail. Get the mail to place it in Jacob's inventory. What, do you not have school today because you're sick too? Oh, maybe that's why the bus isn't coming for them, because they're sick. Besties, just go. You too, go. I would prefer if you went to school, honestly. Like, you're kind of stressing me out with all this. So, please do the imaginary friend thing. I think I probably should. We can scare everybody with this. No, it still comes. Well, why isn't it coming then? Because the bus is not coming. <laughs> For whatever reason, it's just not happening. Oh, that's a deer. Read getting out of the pit. Okay. How are you doing? Look, the dog's so happy. Okay, sniff out collectibles, please. <laughs> Why didn't you go to school? What is up with you? You don't have school today? What am I supposed to do all day then? Oh my god. <laughs> I think it is reference to Sims Medieval. School not in session. Oh, 
Because of the field trip. Oh. I forgot about that. Read some books, IDK. Oh yeah, he can clean the bathroom. That's what he can do. You can stay home and help. Get cleaning. Mop the puddles and everything. <laughs> Make yourself useful. Oh, and you broke this too? I'll make- I'll make the- this guy. Trevor has a bunch of skills so he can repair it. He's got level 9 handiness. So that can be a him problem to repair that. <laughs> okay, clean out the bad food. Maybe just eat this cake piece as well. How about that? Okay. Megan, Bella, Kiana, thank you for the subs. Ooh, Fishfinger is hunting level 9. Okay, and I think the baby should have its imaginary friend. Right? Yeah. So it's only a baby right now. But... We can try and use, um... That. Let him upgrade things to Unbreakable. Yeah, we should definitely work on some upgrades when he gets home from work today. Because that'll be super useful for us. Do we kick Benjamin out? Yeah, he got married. Uh, well, no, he didn't. He was gonna. I just kicked him out to, um... To make sure I had some space in my house. Uh, Megan Bella, Kiana, thank you for the subs. Okay. You want to see the imaginary friend? Yeah, we can't do anything yet because it's only a baby, but... Just you wait. Just you wait. Fishfinger, why aren't you finding anything useful? I can reconstruct a couple of these things. Once he gets home. So maybe I'll work on that. I don't know. We'll see. Other kids have them too, I think. No, they don't have them in their inventories. I didn't, uh, I didn't work on it when they were young, so... They actually don't have them. We could, we could use Jacob as the heir, and then what if Jacob married the imaginary friend? I mean, that's an idea. We could try and bring the imaginary friend back to life. Oh no, I haven't gotten rid of the hallway bed yet. I forgot about that. I can do that now. Um, but yeah, the imaginary friend, you can turn it into a human. Um, and then I can try and uh, have my sim marry it. So, it might be kind of fun. I'd like it. I'm gonna sell that, probably. Um, what should you do with your spare time today? I guess you need to work on the charisma skill. Do you want to honestly go practice speech in the mirror for now? Your dog is called Fishfinger? Yeah, it was one of the default names. I just kept it. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? We got a geode. That's good. Reconstruct. 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 What do we got? Yes? I can also sell this snake skin. And this colorful feather. The game's making scary noises. Okay. Let's try that. Did a fire hydrant just appear? Yeah, because it, um, I reconstructed it. <laughs> it's a stone hydrant. We also have this little dinosaur. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything else, like the other things that I reconstructed, but. Um, I can sell them for kind of a lot of money, but they're also kind of exciting, so I'm not sure. What happened to the green crystal? It's still there. I'm just trying to grow it. Did anything else that I use just appear anywhere? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Trevor got promoted. Wait, don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go home. You need to work on the athletic skill. So while you're out here, go to the gym on the way. Here. Do that. We can worry about it later. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What? Music is playing right now. 
I don't have a radio, do I? Like, what? I said the TV is off and the computer's broken. And it was happening since before we got to the gym. It's not the gym's fault. I was just gonna make him work on his skills a little bit because he needs to get it up higher for work. And then I was gonna have him go home. Um, this is weird. <laughs> it isn't the llama bucket. It's not, it's not that. It's coming from inside the house. I don't... It's not the neighbors, it's from in here. Her phone? I don't... I think it's a glitch from the... I'm gonna see what happens when he gets home and tries to fix the PC. The dinosaur? You think it's the dinosaur? I don't think so. Should I just sell them? I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it's the PC, but like it's broken, so. Well, I want him to keep working out. This is really inconvenient. No, there's no stereos. It's attached to one of my Sims. Is it? What is it? Why is it happening? It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you just sitting there? Considering the hollowness of life? Okay. Should I try and like reset? Wait. Reset Sim Ivy Swan. No. Okay. Reset Sim Charlie Swan. No. <laughs> Check upstairs. It isn't upstairs. I don't have anything up there. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> the gem did a thing? Oh, is it a oh no, it just does that. It's not done yet. Can we reset the lot? No, and it's not the gem, because it's coming from inside the house. How do you reset the... What's gonna happen when I press this? I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna t like fix the computer first. Because when um, Trevor gets home and fixes the computer, we can see if it fixes the computer, and if that fixes what I mean, and then we'll see. Come on, fix it. Let me save the game. It isn't the glowing thing in the entrance, guys. That's just the university box. It's not that. That's just the thing from university. Um, I feel like it's probably... I don't know. I'm clearly resetting the same. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure before I did anything wild. Okay, I reset the lot. Resetting the lot fixed it, but everyone is being weird now. Okay, well. Lot reset. The baby's on the floor. Edward, can you put the baby in the crib? Well, that was fun. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. That was like a lot. That was really a lot. I found it kind of overwhelming, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna see about enrolling the kids in after school activities after this too. 
I just gotta wait until we have a computer again. <laughs> Jennifer, Lindsay, uh, Lou, and Starfall, and Skewed, thank you for the subs. Thought I had new background music? No, my Sims house was just playing that sound. It was so weird. It was like so, so, so weird. Um, okay. Let's see about turning this room. We had kind of talked about turning this room into like a playroom for the kids for now. And I kind of like that idea. So I might do it. I might try and use like kind of a fun wallpaper again because we do have some really cute ones. And then we can use them. Like I would use this little one. Honestly, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I need to save the game. It's being slow. You kind of missed the funky beats. It was kind of exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Tortoise princess, thanks for the subs. Am I gonna send some children into boarding schools? I don't know, probably not, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, save. The other thing about Sims 3 that a lot of people don't know is that you have to go into live mode again to save. You can't save from build mode. Oh, so annoying. That's one of the most major improvements in Sims 4. I'm serious. The fact that you can save from, from uh, live mode seems like a small thing, but oh, it's so annoying that you can't. Okay. Okay. Love the idea of a blue rug. When's gonna be the next Among Us stream? Ah, uh, we decided to do it on the 18th. Saturday the 18th, we had talked about. Okay, let's think about like all the toys we can get up here. Cause there's a lot of really cute things. We even have some of this stuff like this uh, Baker's half dozen stand and this lemonade stand. Obviously I'd put those outside and <laughs> not inside, but um, I want to get a few extra little toys and things to put up here in the playroom. Okay, when's the next Animal Crossing stream? Friend, I got so many games that I want to play on stream and I have not enough time. So <laughs> I'm not 100% sure exactly what day we'll do the next Animal Crossing stream. Same thing with like Stardew Valley, guys. People always ask me. I promise soon. I love these games. You know I love these games, but there's so much going on that I want to do um, at all times, you know? Okay, let's try this one, because this one is so cute. Oh. I really like that. Can I make it like green on the bottom? I don't know. I like it though. That's so cute. Um, we'll get this little toy oven as well. Maybe, I don't know which one I want to use. I'm not sure. The kids can actually cook with this toy oven though. We should get, I had this one before, but the colors are really, I mean, it matches the wall, I guess. <laughs> if you get early access to the new pack, would you stream it or are you not allowed? That's a really good question, Hannah. Um, there's not been any word about when early access will be or anything like that yet, so um, keep that in mind. But uh, when it comes to stuff like that, right, when they give us early access to a Sims pack in that way, um, essentially when you uh, get early access, they tell you, okay, you're allowed to have early access to this pack, but you can't stream it or, or post a video on it until this certain day or whatever. They'll tell us when you're allowed to. So if that's happening, I wouldn't be allowed to, to stream it or post about it or whatever until whatever day the embargo is. Um, there, there's not any word on that yet, so I couldn't tell you like when it would be or anything like that. Um, but that's how it works is basically you have to wait until um, they tell you you're allowed to. And that might be like, you know, whatever, a couple days before the pack comes out or something, so. Um, that's how that works though, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of want to get like a little table next to this so that the kids can put down the food that they're cooking. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking here, but honestly, even just a little one might be kind of useful. No, I don't like that. 
Can I get a costume box? Yeah, I will. Um, the game is just so slow and there's so many things I want to do and not enough time. Oh, this is cute. Kitchen cart. Katy Perry sweet treats. Do you get paid for building for the pack? Yeah, so uh, when I got, when I did the builds for the pack, uh, they basically paid me per lot. They didn't basically, did, they, they did pay me per lot. Um, so I realize this is kind of confusing to some people. Um, so when I, oh, I haven't posted the video yet, but when I post the video on like how the process works, I explain it a little bit more in depth. And I gave the example of like, they basically commissioned the lots for me. Um, you know how people might like commission an artist or something? Um, and, and you pay them like for the art. In this case, obviously I'm not an artist, I am a simmer. <laughs> and we're talking about like a Sims house, not a, um, not a, you know, a piece of art, but they paid each person a flat rate per each lot. So everybody had the same amount of money and we each did three lots. Um, and that was how it worked with Snowy Escape too, so. That's it. But I, I think it's important to make that distinction because I wasn't like sponsored in the sense that like I was paid to like make a video about something or like, you know, whatever. Because I think people get like that confused and they think that I'm like, my opinion's been bought or whatever, but I just built for it. They paid me per build. So um, that's how it worked. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Um... I want to use the little costume box. Strong disagree that Sims builds aren't art. Well, you know what? I, I think Sims builds are quite cool too. I just feel the need to clarify uh, that I don't think that I'm some sort of like special artist because I don't want people to be like, oh my God, did you hear what little Simsy said? She thinks she's an artist because she did a Sims build. Like I don't want people to go around um, thinking that about me, <laughs> you know? Um, that's, that's not my intention. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to explain how it works, you know? <laughs> um, that's all that I'm trying to do. Um, that's why I try to make the clarification, but anyway. <laughs> uh, King and Crispy, thank you for the subs. I'm trying to think how much stuff I want to put in here, because, I mean, there isn't like a ton going on in here, but there's some space to walk around, so maybe I'll leave it like this for now, and then we can add to it, because I probably shouldn't spend too much money anyway. Just to be safe. The kids are all hungry. Do you want to serve up a meal again? Serve dinner. Spaghetti. That's a good idea. Creativity comes in many different forms. I absolutely agree. I think that what a lot of people do in The Sims is, is like 100% art, you know? Um, I just have some anxiety about uh, people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> being like, do you hear what Lil Simsy said? She thinks she's an artist. That's, I can just picture the hate comments now. <laughs> so you give the disclaimer to avoid it, you know? <laughs> um, you're going to leave so many hate comments. All right, Miv, that's actually kind of mean. That's actually kind of mean. Um, you know, Kara, I, I understand the assumption there. Obviously, I can't talk about the new world, but keep in mind, you know, when you look at a Sims world, um, not every lot is full, right? There's empty lots and stuff. Um, does that make sense? So, <laughs> I built three lots, yes, but not, you know, usually in a Sims world, there's more than just the lots that have builds on them. Does that make sense, guys? Do you get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Anyway, obviously I can't talk about this too much, but um, anyway. All right, put that away too. When the pack comes out, I'll tell you which ones I built. Yeah, I get to, um, I actually already finished the video. I obviously can't share it with you yet, but I get to make a whole video about um, the whole process that goes into building these lots and like, um, I show you like behind the scenes footage and stuff even. So um, I will tell you obviously which ones I build. <laughs> can I say when I can share? No friend, unfortunately not. Uh, I can't talk about it too much. I can't really answer a lot of questions about it. I know people have a lot of questions, um, which is hard because it's being talked about constantly and I'm like having to avoid it a little. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll talk about it once I actually can, you know? And you'll, you'll answer, all your questions will be answered. All your questions will be answered in there. <laughs> um, so, 
color. I really can't. I, I'm so sorry. I really can't talk about the specific lots or anything like that too much. Um, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait. Better have been 10k per build. Are you implying that I should have been paid $10,000 per build that I did? Oh my god. All right, so take that number and like lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. <laughs> like lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. They paid me a very reasonable amount per build. Not nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that. Oh my goodness. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> God, could you imagine? <laughs> um, that's quite a, quite a few too many zeros there, friends. <laughs> My goodness. <sighs> okay, well, I think I just saved again when I didn't need to, by the way. You made me nervous and I like saved my game as a reflex afterward. <laughs> Okay, is everybody eaten? You have, you have, you have, you have. Okay, good. We got lots of extra food in the fridge now. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Everything should be fine. Probably meant the price of the game per build. No, you think 10k simoleons? Okay, as if I build a bunch of lots that cost only 10,000. Come on. <laughs> In any context, we're worth way more than that. No. Uh, Mona, I don't remember exactly. It just changes at some point, I think. Um, anyway, this will this will just switch when it's ready. Alice, what are you doing? That's not your room. Go to bed. Evil slumber in there. You go to sleep. You go to sleep. They got themselves a little bit confused, it looks like. Okay. Okay. Why Sims 3? Fred, I just want to play The Sims 3. <laughs> I just like The Sims 3 and I feel like playing it, you know? Uh, there's not any, there's not any, like, secretive reason or anything. I just, I just like The Sims 3 and it's fun to play, you know? Okay. Everything done, house is clean, we're going back to bed, all is well. What was my favorite part of the expansion pack trailer? Oh my goodness. Do you know what? You know that part where the elders are power walking? That one, that really caught me off guard and I thought it was so cute. Like the animation of that with the little kid trailing behind, I thought was really adorable. I, I think that was one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Especially cause like, I guess it was kind of unexpected. Like, when you think about a family pack, like, I'm obviously thinking, like, oh, cute gameplay with the baby, you know? Um, I didn't really expect there being, like, elders power walking. <laughs> like, that was really cute, so I, I liked that part. That was kind of a fun feature. Um, oh, and also, also when the elders were moving in, or, or, like, visiting or whatever it was meant to be when they showed up with the suitcase, I really liked that part. <laughs> when they came with a suitcase. I got really excited about that too, about like seeing the suitcase because that was kind of a fun feature that I wasn't expecting, so. Oh yes, and when the baby kicked that lady, there was like a part where they were at the, the party or something and the baby like stood up and kicked the woman. I liked that too. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. <laughs> um, so those are the things that stood out to me the most personally about the pet. Uh, no, the rock's not any bigger yet. It's still worth only the same amount. Give it time. You can see it's it's being uh, suspicious. It's growing. That was less cute for me personally. Oh, Christine, is that a sore subject? <laughs> Getting kicked by toddlers? They're too close to home maybe for you? So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong child, I understand. What a interesting problem. <laughs> too close to home for you too? Oh really? <laughs> That's so fun. I mean, not for you, but for it being in The Sims. It's fun that it's in The Sims. Uh, that's very exciting to me. <laughs> Sorry. It's not fun that your kids kick you. 
That, that I can't imagine that being fun for anyone. Just to clarify, I'm not saying it's fun that, you <laughs> that your toddlers are being mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. It does sound like realistic gameplay though, doesn't it? I'm just so excited about it. The way they had talked about, um, the way they had talked about it too, like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do actually is upgrade this shower to be unbreakable before work. Um, but the way they had talked about the, the babies being like really difficult, like real life, <sighs> makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know. It should be really fun, so. Never been kicked, but your cousin bit you? <gasps> no. I think that happens too. I swear, was it in the, um, I don't think it was in this trailer. I think it was in the, the baby trailer stuff from, um, we saw it. Ooh, this is ugly. Maybe I'll buy a better toilet from the stream. But I swear there was footage of a baby biting someone as well, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Why are all these things so expensive? They have like such fancy features, it's ridiculous. I could buy the porcelain throne. What if I just spend all my money on this and then upgrade it to be self-cleaning? What do you think? <laughs> I like this idea. That'll save me some time and effort. And then we can bring that around with us always. Oh, you have to go to work, sorry. You can keep sleeping. You kids have to get up for school soon. The way he's just like hammering at the toilet as well. Charlie seems like he's going to be a bit snippy today, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're all making things for the subs. Oh my goodness. No, The Sims 3 unfortunately does not have any fire toilets. Seriously, gotta be one of the worst features of this game. Uh, severely lacking in the fire toilet department. Oh, it's almost Alice's birthday. Okay, the kids are gonna become teens in a couple days. You seem okay. You need to eat. The baby needs its diaper changed. Uh, snuggle? I don't know. You were reportedly a biter as a baby slash toddler? Oh no. That can't be good. Oh! One of the kids is taking care of the sibling? That's actually really nice. Okay, go to school. Go to school, go to school, go to school. Hello, put the kid down. What are you doing? Go to school. What, why on the floor? <sighs> Simmers. Sims, I mean, no, I'm complaining about Sims, not Simmers. Sorry. Simmers didn't do anything wrong. Sims, though. I don't know why I said that. You Simmers. <laughs> oh, no. I was gonna buy a birthday cake to age up the baby, but that leaves me with 14 simoleons. Does anybody have anything I could, like... Oh, you have a geode I can use. Okay, let's let's try and cut that stack of gems quickly. Just to get a little bit more money. Do we know who the heir is? You know, Megan, we've talked a lot about Charlie, my horse sim, being the heir. Um, but also, now that we have the baby Jacob, I'm gonna, like, really focus on him playing with his imaginary friend and see if we can bring the imaginary friend back to life. And I kind of like the idea of trying to, like marry the imaginary friend and stuff. So I'm, I might try and do that, I think. But we shall see. Okay, do you wanna come eat some leftovers, autumn salad? Yeah, I haven't played with the imaginary friend stuff in a long time, so it might be kind of fun. Yeah, if you turn the imaginary friend into a, into a human, like you can marry it. I guess back to life isn't the right word. I, I can. Turn it alive. <laughs> Turn it alive, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Name the friend Nessie? No, I got a sibling named Nessie. So we'll gotta think something else to name it. 
Yeah, that's the creepy doll, is the imaginary friend. So. Do you know if they're working on The Sims 5? Yeah, they've announced it, even Professor Snape. Announced it in the sense that it's still not coming out for years, but uh, they've talked about it. They've talked about how um, The Sims 5 is uh, in, in production and will be coming out in the next few years. Okay, I'm going to age up this baby into a toddler. Catch a fish? Okay. Let's age up. What? Did you not hear about this, Lizzie? Oh my goodness. It's called Project Renee right now. It's kind of like a code name. Super common in development of stuff like this to give it a code name before they give it a real name. But what it is is the next generation of The Sims. You know, The Sims 5. Um, one of my mods might be able to find uh, the videos that I've made on what we have information-wise so far. Um, but they announced it back in October. So we've known about it for a little bit now. Um, which is kind of exciting. Okay, age up, baby. Oh god. All right. Shall I go? Let me save the game and then go into Cass. Oh, can I not right now? Are you still aging up? Then I'll go into Cass and dress him up. Okay. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> There's the video. Um, what's wrong with the poor dog? I don't know. Probably having a rough day. Okay, what do you want to do? I think it's just barking a lot. Do you want to go find me some collectibles? Because I have no money. Okay. Master controller, advanced, editing cast. This will be good. Personality wise, you're athletic and a slob. Oh, it's going to be so annoying. You like frogs legs, Chinese music, and green. You're a Virgo. I feel like he'll be cute when he gets older. Should we check just to be sure? Yep, so. He will be cute when he gets older. Okay, this makes me feel really good about this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Should we give him little freckles? Maybe. I like the idea. Okay, this is good actually, this is really good. You can wear some little hair, I don't know. Get some little eyebrows. Find that all Sims in The Sims 3 look the same? Yeah, a lot of them do. I, I don't think you're alone in thinking that. A lot of The Sims 3 Sims look very similar. We don't really have that much cute stuff, do we? I've got all this. This could be kind of cute. Maybe that. Oh, this is kind of nice. Oh, okay. I actually like that. You can wear this. And maybe I can give you, like, honestly, just plain shoes. But I'll make them, like, a fun color. Or they could just be like that. I don't know. Looks like an old man in a baby's body. Oh, does he? Maybe a little. <laughs> We don't need to worry about, like, the formal clothes or anything. This is the thing, right? When is this kid literally ever gonna have to wear this? He just won't have to. We're not gonna have, like, a formal party or something. It's just not gonna be a, a thing. <sighs> Absolutely no need for us to worry about it, but... It'll work. Um, there was a really cute, like, full body outfit, right? Like, this was so cute. Maybe he can wear that. I don't like the gloves. Swimwear. I guess you could wear that. Maybe you could have like... I don't know. This is probably fine. When are we gonna go swimming? Probably never. So... This works. This will do for now. Okay. I can't buy him any additional things, because I don't have any money. <laughs> uh, do you know what we can do, though? Oh, wait, I think it's actually in my inventory. Um, oh, I have to feed him on the floor. Hold on, do that first. Feed on floor. I've got this Head Start play pen. 
I can put him in there. After he's done eating. No, go feed him. Feed him! Spiral staircase? Yeah, spiral staircases uh, exist in The Sims 3. That is what we have in our house right now. It's kind of fun, right? What is cast short for? It's short for create a sim. That's a good question. Because um, everybody always just calls it cast. But yeah, it means it means create a sim. Cast. <laughs> okay. I'll finish eating this. Oh, I'm not even hungry. Okay, never mind. You don't have to. Then you could go put him in this playpen. Come on. Out to the patio you go. Okay, little guy. Time for you to learn to talk. Oh, do you know what else I can do is sell one of the, um, one of these. We only need to have one of them now that I don't have twins anymore. <laughs> that makes life a little bit easier. Okay, and you're gonna be home all day, so keep writing your book. That will also help. Drop off permission slips at City Hall. Okay. What's your issue? Having a mood swing? Stressed? Okay. There's a lot happening. Thought they were saying cast always. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. If you only ever hear it like spoken aloud, it's super easy to mishear it, you know? Um, that makes a lot of sense though. What was glowing green on the floor? Oh, this is my fancy gem. I'm waiting for it to grow so that I can sell it for more money. I'm gonna be rich. I'm not kidding. This is serious business. Okay, let's just speed up while we wait, I guess. 174 for personal time off. Okay. Okay. Dog, you found anything good? No. Child? Keep learning to talk until you get there. And then play with this. Oh, and then I'll let him sit on the floor and play with his um, imaginary friend. <gasps> what are you doing? Stop! Stop! Don't pick the kid up! What? <laughs> Fine, I'll just play with my imaginary friend. Give Pal a new name. I don't like that I'm being forced to pick, like this is not the vibes. This is like serious 2009 vibes. <laughs> they would never do that anymore. Um, what should we name the baby? Or the, not the baby. What should we name this? Bella? Oh. Are we, okay, listen. After this, we gotta stop with the Twilight thing. We gotta stop with the Twilight thing. But I feel like we can name it Bella. Keeping in mind, we are gonna Nate, we are gonna marry this. Renesme? Guys, I've already got a sister named Nessie. Where do you think that came from? <laughs> I can't name my future best friend after my sister. <laughs> I think Bella's actually cute. I'll name it Bella. This thing's creepy is what it is. Okay, keep playing with it. We need to be like best friends with this thing. Okay. You can go home. You're taking a taxi home. Shrek theme next generation. That is quite the idea that you have. You think so? Because I guess we could, I mean, we could do that. <laughs> what do you, like, we could get a dog and name it Donkey or something? This is a weird idea. Maybe we could have like just one kid instead of five and the only kid can be named Fiona. The horse could be donkey. <gasps> oh my God, I think you're onto something. I think, I think you've got an idea there. We'll get a horse, we'll name it donkey. I need to keep upgrading this. Um, you're all doing your homework. You're still writing. Okay, the kids dropped off the permission slips. We'll come home. Okay. 
Oh, we got plans now. <laughs> and thank you for the subs. All right. How are we all doing? The toddler is still playing. And you gotta keep it up, honestly. Charlie for heir so we can have a horse. Listen, we talked about having Charlie as the heir, but we decided that we would prefer to do this toddler as the heir so that we can marry our imaginary friend. It's too late for us with the other Sims, but with this one, we got time. So I would, I would be able to. So that's why we talked about that. All right, let me sell these gems. The dog is like seriously carrying right now. If it weren't for the dog, I'd be doomed. I'm gonna get one of your toys. Here, play with this. No, no. No, 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 not you. Chew that. You want Jacob as the heir? Yeah, I. that's what I'm thinking too, is having the toddler so that we can marry the imaginary friend like I talked about. I think that would be fun, personally. <laughs> okay, let's potty train Jacob a few times, shall we? Before he pees his pants, we'll get a move on with the potty training. It'll also help to like get to work on this because we're gonna have to go to work soon again after all of our maternity leave. So we need to like actually work on skills and stuff. But horse boy, we could have had a horse. Doesn't mean we can't have a horse later. It's not like only one kind of sim can have a horse. <laughs> Anybody can have a horse. All right, how are you doing? You got fleas again? No, you don't. Eat from bowl. Potty train him again. Let's go. I know, Ivy like never gets to go into work because she's been um, having so many kids, but we don't have an Edward? No, we do. Edward, Charlie, Nessie, Alice, Jacob, Fishfinger. You can talk with him, sure. Okay, how about you go put the kid in in the bed? Put Jacob in the crib. And then, do you wanna woohoo with your husband? That would be really good. Cause that would get your fun up and your hygiene up in the shower. That would work for everybody. Okay, come on, off we go. Off we go. Vampire Diaries, please. Oh, guys, look, I I wasn't intending for every generation of this legacy to be, like, named after something. I've also never seen Vampire Diaries. <laughs> like, when I did this, it started out as, a, as an accident. <laughs> you know, like, it wasn't, it wasn't intentional, all of this. Um, it just happened. Okay, do you want to eat some leftovers, too? Some mac and cheese? Okay, evil slumber. See, they got social hygiene and fun up from that. That's so useful. Okay, everyone to bed. You're showering. You can go to bed after that. You're asleep. You're eating, but maybe you could come shower. Because otherwise, you're going to have a rough day. Like, the morning's going to suck when everybody's trying to wake up and do everything all at once. You know? Okay, evil slumber. Sleep. Okay. Never seen Vampire Diaries? No, I have not seen Vampire Diaries. Um, okay. Write a biography about Benjamin Swan on your computer. That's my ex-husband. The way it's offering me like improved relationship as if I'm supposed to care about that. No. <laughs> that is my ex-husband. Why would I write a biography on you? <laughs> what a weird thing to ask for. Ick. Okay, you wanna teach Jacob to walk. You wanna get married to Ivy. Master the handiness skill. Um, you want to kiss Trevor? I can do that in the morning. That'll be good. But the slander opportunity? I mean, I guess that's true. I could have slandered him in the press, but... 
it's too late. I, I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> I didn't want to deal with it. Who's the boyfriend? Oh, wait, uh, he used to be, he came to fix my toilet once. So. Anyway. Everyone's sleeping through the night. The dog's social is low and destruction, so go chew this. Um, the kid's asleep, you're asleep, everything's fine. Yeah, and he didn't even fix it. I called him to fix it, and then it didn't work, and then he left. So, it was a little bit upsetting, but now I had kids with him, so. Or a kid with him. If the Tiberium isn't growing, you have to tr go traveling with it in your Sims inventory to activate it. Are you sure that it's not growing? How many days has it been in-game? I guess I could go try and do that in the morning. Um, travel somewhere with it. Well, maybe we'll do that tomorrow if, if all else fails. Yeah. Today is the, um, today is the, is love day, so that's good at least. Um, this cake is never gonna spoil, so you could probably eat that. Trip to France? Okay, going on a trip all the way to France is a lot. So, <laughs> I don't know. Deadly, Nico, Kelly, thanks for the sub. That's so fun. We could do it maybe for like, um, maybe when Jacob, go oh, you're afraid of the dark? Maybe when Jacob goes on a honeymoon, we can, we can do that. Sims 3 has France? Yeah. You can't make this up. The Sims 3 has a pack called World Adventures. There's three different places that you can travel to. Um, it's actually really cool. No, don't chat. Feed the baby. Are you stuck? Is that what's happening? No, you're not stuck. So feed the baby. There we go. Feed on floor. It's Nessie's birthday. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's like Jungle Adventure times three. Yeah, it's sort of similar to Jungle Adventure with the tomb exploring and stuff, but um, Jungle Adventure is a little bit less fun, dare I say. The World Adventures pack was pretty fun, so. Okay. I think that it might be kind of fun for, and I guess maybe I could, maybe I'll go to the park. Shall we go to the park with these two and like try and get married or something? Eat leftovers, autumn salad. That could be good. I like that idea. They can get married because it's love day. It's too early for a night owl to be awake. Okay. Well, you work at 6 a.m. every day, so. Not sure what you're complaining about. Are they engaged? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're only dating, but I can get engaged and get married all on the same day. That's no problem. That part's easy. Okay, let's go to the park. I'm gonna come all the way down here. I shall visit the springtime festival. There's even like kissing booths and stuff. It's wild. <laughs> Uh, there's like a little dance floor. It is unfortunately raining, which is kind of ruining the vibes, but... Maybe I could pick up some of this cute stuff. You know what? Let's do it. Let's pick up some festival eggs. I'm ready. <laughs> Sim stuff! It's Dakota and Leah and Deadly! Thank you for the subs! Hurry up. Start collecting, shall we? Pick up this. Oh, I think she's collecting on her own. No? I did find a tiny rock valued at 20 simoleons. Bucktooth butternut. Oh my god. That is an alarming thing to find. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 
Wow. I'm gonna sell this stuff. That's good money right there. Which is what I needed. Um, should we try and get engaged here, I guess? Why not? Why not? Have we decided on an heir? Yeah, we've been talking about having this toddler become the heir so that we can play with the imaginary friend stuff and like try and um try and get uh the imaginary friend to be our spouse in the future. Which I realize is a really weird thing to say. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. Is there really egg hunting in the USA or is this thing made up for movies? <laughs> yeah, a lot of times um around like Easter and on Easter uh, people will do egg hunts, I guess. Uh, when, when I, when people talk about egg hunts, though, like, people aren't really, they don't mean, like, like, literally, like, an egg. You know? Like, oftentimes, it's candy. Like, it might be, like, a little toy egg that has candy inside. Um, or, like, a chocolate egg or something. But it's, like, a little plastic egg with candy inside they hide. And then the kids look for it. Um, but it's, it's not usually, like, literally there's an egg. At least not these days. <laughs> Some people decorate real, like, chicken eggs with dye and stuff, though. Um, so. But it's not just a U.S. thing. I know that other places do that, too. But it might not be like that where you are. Which is why you're asking, obviously. Um, but it's kind of cute. It's a fun little game, I guess. Um, in Europe, you do real eggs. I'm sure that some people do real eggs here, too. Um, that's just not a thing that, like, my family ever did. Or most people I knew ever did. So. Oh, I see them inside and all that's uncommon. Yeah, my mom used to hide the eggs inside. But also, I live in Florida. So, like, if if we were doing Easter egg hunts with candy outside, it would probably melt. <laughs> you know, like, it would probably melt. So, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Did an indoor hunt with real eggs growing up, but for Mary we use fake eggs? That makes sense. Yeah. Um. Tiberium needs to be spire cut and then it'll grow. I already spire cut it, friend. It is spire cut. I'll show you. I shall show you. Spire cut Tiberium. Um. That's why it's like that. Okay, I'm trying to get married. Oh, I have fleas? No, I don't want that. Oh, cute! They're gonna get married in the rain. Isn't that adorable? Um, propose marriage. I'm also going to propose in the rain, I guess, because I have to do that first. This is so cute! I want to get a little screenshot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Maybe it needs more open space? I don't know. I'll try and put it somewhere else. It is weird how it's taking a while for it to grow. Is this the repair guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't a very useful repair guy, but this'll do. This is kind of cute. We're now engaged. <gasps> Take romantic photos together and then have private wedding. Oh my god, you are not seriously answering the phone right now! You cannot be answering the phone right now. We're getting married! <laughs> he couldn't repair our toilet, but he repaired our heart. <laughs> I can't believe he took a call. What was she thinking doing that? Cute. It's kind of pretty. Aww. Congrats on your wedding! So exciting! We are now married and we have a couple days off to get settled in! No! <laughs> she was supposed to go to work tomorrow! She was finally gonna have work again! Oh. My. God. She's never gonna work again. She's actually never gonna work again. I can't- Okay. 
Um, buddy, you're gonna, uh oh. Uh oh. Things are looking bad for Fishfinger. Things are looking bad for Fishfinger. <laughs> that bar is getting full. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, well, we finally got married. Um, we can take a greeting card picture while we're here. That could be kind of cute. With Trevor. When Fishfinger dies, I don't know if I'll be able to go on. So, that's gonna be hard. <gasps> don't you dare change my last name to Carpenter! I'm upset. Also, the kids are gonna have prom this weekend. I don't wanna- I don't want that. I don't want that. I can change a sim's name at City Hall. Oh, can you do that? That's kind of cute. Wait. Change name. Oh! Oh, it changed everybody's name! It changed everybody's name! Oh, hi, Owen. <laughs> We're, we're currently having a crisis because my sim got married and it changed my entire family's last name to the guy's last name. All of their names. The only person that doesn't have la his last name is his son. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna change it then. The nerve of the Sims 3. Well, anyway. Hi, <laughs> thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Uh, we've been playing The Sims 3 again recently. Um, Ivy Swan. <sighs> I guess I could do it like in cast, but maybe I'll make like a whole ordeal out of it and change everybody's name here. Change name. Can you not? Can the teens not change their names? Or do I have to have you do it? Change- oh, I have to pick the kid. Oh my god. Are you serious? I'm gonna do it. I'll do it. <laughs> anyway, we've been playing The Sims 3 again uh, a lot recently. It's been really fun. So, uh, my current situation is that I have five kids. Big mistake. But I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Jacob Swan. Oh, did it change his name too? Edward Swan. Okay. Alice Swan. Free vacation? Uh oh. Ivy Swan and all the adults just won a sweepstakes and have been awarded a free vacation for two days? No! When you do that, it sends the adults away for two days. No! <laughs> Uh, I need to change Nessie's name. That should be the last one. I don't want more time off, first of all. And I also don't want the teens to have to be home alone taking care of the baby. <laughs> Nessie. Swan. Okay, all is well. I fixed it all. Oh, and Fishfinger found me some metal. Oh my god, this dog is like seriously carrying. If not for Fishfinger, we'd be so broke. Okay. It's whoever proposed that gets the name? Oh, well. I don't like it. I don't like that one bit. Never noticed that pop-up? Oh, it, it, like, the point of that pop-up is to have the parents go away so the teens can, like, have some parties and stuff. Um, Ivy doesn't have to go back to work again, Ash, because she now has two days off from getting married. So, at this rate, we're never, ever, ever gonna be able to go back to work again. <laughs> In this game, you get forced maternity leave. They're trying to keep women from, from progressing in their careers. So she's never been able to go to work. For Well, she has been a few days, but not a lot of days. Unfortunately. Because she has had kids. So, I'm teaching her this kid to walk. 
All right. This will be good. What are you doing? Where are you bringing him to teach him to walk? What is up with this? In the front yard? Okay. No, seriously, like, not joking, the dog is paying all the bills. It's horrible. You want to kiss someone? Okay. I have a couple, uh, decorations now. We have, like, the greeting card photo of them. Look how cute that is! I could probably put the one that she got up, too. Maybe I'll put this one up on the wall here or something. And then I think if I, how do I see? Camera, photos, view photos. Oh, that's me and my ex-husband. Okay, probably not that one. <laughs> oh no, okay, here's me and my current husband, that's better. There we go, that'll do, okay. <laughs> that's awkward. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't hang that one up. I won't lie. Pro probably not. Not on this day that I got married to my new husband. <laughs> Look at that Ali, thanks for the subs. Yeah, not the dog being the sole breadwinner of the families. No, we've only had two husbands, Misha. I had one husband for a while, and I had two sets of twins with him. But then it turned out that he sucked. Um, his whole thing, his lifelong goal, was literally called Heartbreaker. And he wanted to date and dump 10 sims. So after I moved in with him and realized that, I was like, oh no. I've made a big mistake by tying myself to this guy. So I divorced him. Um, and then I got a new boyfriend who's better. So. <laughs> Only after I had four kids with the first guy, though. So, oops. <laughs> oops. He isn't terrible. He's all right. He could be nicer, but it's fine. Septarian nodule. Okay. I'll, I'll deal with that. I'm trying to teach my kid how to walk first, though. Oh, forget it. I was trying, I was trying to, like, actually try hard and, like, teach him myself, but it's so much easier just to use the toddler walker thing. Like, why am I bothering doing this on my own? Put Jacob in the walker. Trevor's lifetime wish is to garden. And I haven't done any of that. So. Oops, I guess. Alright, there you go, buddy. Learn to walk. Teach yourself. I don't want to have to do it. <laughs> Eat leftover spaghetti. How about that? Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. Missed you at the party, Ivy. Okay. <gasps> Fish finger found another gem. Oh no, that was the last one. Okay, that's fine. We have one gem. Making the bed and throwing away newspapers, so tedious. I know, I could cancel the newspapers so that I don't get them anymore, but there's something kind of fun about having the newspaper delivered. So I, I kind of like to have it, even though I never actually use it. See, look, Jacob learned to walk. I didn't even have to help. Baby won't escape. No, don't worry. He's stuck on the lot, luckily. That's a relief, huh? My love. Sims in love flutter about like fools oblivious to the world around them. Oh, that's cute. I forgot about that one. No, I could ignore the phone call. Yeah, I just don't usually bother clicking on it, Emily. It's not really a thing that I'm too worried about. All right, I want to potty train Jacob as well. There we go, 554 on that. That's pretty good money. Oh, I can sell the pregnancy books now too, cause I won't be having any more babies. <laughs> yeah, the pets are counted separately in the size of the household. Is that what you were asking? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, okay, do you want to pick up Jacob? I'm gonna try and potty train him a bit. I think. Come on. Pick up Jacob. Potty train Jacob just a few times. If I could finish this, that would be really good. Because I think that he's really close to being potty trained. Yeah, look at that. So close. Come on. Come on. Done. Easy. Okay. 
That's actually so good. When the dog dies, I don't think I can watch this legacy anymore. I know, I don't blame you. <laughs> when the dog dies, I'm gonna be devastated. I don't know if I can play with, with this anymore after that either. Okay, I'm making the kid play with this, um, with this thing so that when it grows up, basically the goal of this, uh, this is an imaginary friend. And when the kid gets older, if we're close enough to it, um, are you aging up? Oh no, I forgot. Oh, oops. Anyway, when the kid gets older, um, I'm gonna be able to, uh, like, actually talk to imaginary friends that's gonna, like, be large and around. Dakota Fox is asking Edward to the prom? <gasps> oh, due to her indifferent study habits, I can't choose a trait for Nessie. She's clumsy. That's fine. Oh, he's got a date to the prom, and it's that guy with the frosted tips. That's kind of exciting. Okay, well, I'll have to give Nessie a new look. Once she's done. Or once the other one's done aging up. Alice, do you want to age up? Hang on. I'll just get a cake for you. Blow out candles, Alice. Alice Swan is having a birthday. Happy birthday. Time to grow up. So exciting. The frosted tips with a P, his hair. His hair, oh my God, not this again. Not this again. It's the university mascot, too much, too much. There's too much going on. There's too much happening in my ears. I'm finding it really overwhelming. Get me out of here. All right, age up, age up. I think she's gonna have indifferent study habits too. I need to have less kids next generation because I've had too many, I found it very overwhelming. Oh, what trait did she get? Animal lover? That's a cute one. Okay. Cool choice of hair. Jennifer, yeah, I've got tickets to the heiress tour. I'm very excited. That's interesting. So many people have asked me that today specifically. We talked a lot about this obviously when tickets went on sale, but more than one person has asked me today about Taylor Swift's tour, um, which is like, seems kind of random. Like why today? But hey, yes, <laughs> I love Taylor Swift as many of you know. I'm a little obsessed, always have been, so. <laughs> okay, let's do Alice in her outfits first. Okay, so Alice is an animal lover, brave, evil, and shy. She likes lilac, French music, and tri-tip tofu steak, and she is a Libra. Okay, oh dear, please cast load. Okay, um, what hairstyle should we pick? There's a lot of options. This is under the hats category. So in The Sims 3, the hats category was separate from like the regular hairs, um, which is interesting of them to have done, but it is what they did. So uh, I'm just gonna look at the hat options first. It could be a mermaid. I don't know, there's options. Uh, I think I'll probably, oh, I forgot about some of these. Oh, just this little ponytail is kind of nice. Do you want to wear a little ponytail? I think I like that. What pack is that from? This is from... Oh, I just clicked off of it, so now I have to go back. Which is inconvenient. <laughs> Sanders, thank you for tier 2 in 36 months. Oh, really, Jennifer? That's awesome. I'm so excited. Um, I bet, I bet she's gonna love it. That's so fun. This hair is from, I think it's Cats and Dogs, but I need to triple check again, just in case. No, it is in fact not. Uh, it's from Generations, which is interesting. Speaking of Generations, that's what we've been trying to play. <laughs> okay, what should she wear? There's some kind of fun outfits. 
Oh, I used to love this one. Um... I won't lie. Sims 3 is... so... amazing. Like, actually... incredible. Oh, I used to love this. I always had my Sims wear this. Um... That's a shark costume. You can kind of see it there. Can't see the opposite of the camera placement. I know, Brina. I need to move it, but I don't really want to have to. This is the thing. I'm trying to avoid being in cast for a long time, so I was trying to avoid having to move it, but I'll move it. <laughs> I'll move it. We can wear like a little tank top or something easy. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Sanders, thank you for the tier 2 36 months, though. I can't wear a shark costume. Oh, really, Jennifer? That's so fun. I'm so excited for you. That's going to be great. Um, is it freezing? What, my stream? My stream is not having any issues right now, but it's possible that on your end, um, on your end it might be. Um, I've got a couple CC options. We got a couple t-shirts. Okay, so I'm not really obsessed with the color options here. I might wear like a cute little um, purple sweater. Shorts look like diapers. Okay, so I haven't picked any shorts out yet. <laughs> Guys, I hate to say it, but you're making it really hard for me to want to do any sort of create a sim stuff on stream. I know that you probably don't mean any harm, but like being sat here talking about how you think the sim is ugly and how you think my choices are ugly, <laughs> it's like, um, it's making it really difficult for me to feel comfortable spending a while in cast, if you know what I mean. So, um, please, please be, please be kind. Um, and keep in mind that our regular stream rules for cast still apply even when it's The Sims 3, <laughs> okay? Um, yeah, this is, this is a little bit difficult for me to do with people being so mean, so... Um, I'm trying to get through it as fast as possible to save us all the headache, okay? I promise. Should have kept my face cam in front of The Sim. That would have solved all the problems. Um... Well, you know what? The jeans are actually kind of trendy again. So, this is good. Um, this is very good. I know not just you and us. It's, it's uh, a lot of people <laughs> in the chat. So, it's just been a thing that's been happening for the last few minutes. And it's kind of scaring me. So, um, I'm going to wear a lot of purple, I think. I actually really like that. Really, really like that. Um, okay, we can wear some little shoes, sleepwear, I'll probably just wear like some shorts and a t-shirt or something, I don't really like that one, how about that, that'd be fine, I don't really care too much about like the outfits the sims are wearing for like all of their outfits, <laughs> you know, like, I mostly am just concerned about them having not ugly outfits, right? So, as long as we've got that, it'll be fine. Um, I loved a lot of these outfits when I was younger. We could wear a little hoodie, maybe. Some jeans again. Who's the Sim? Oh, it's my, my new... She's one of the kids that's been born in my, uh, legacy challenge. Not sure how chat affects your play. Okay, so, funny question. Um, thank you for your second message, <laughs> being rude. Um, but anyway, so basically, guys, the reason that we're talking about this, when chat is mean about The Sims and stuff, um, it really stresses me out for a couple reasons. Number one, I'm trying to make a sim and people are being mean. That sucks. But also... 
there's a little bit of nuance that we have to keep in mind here with how we discuss Sims appearances, because Sims are like emulating humans, right? So when you make fun of a Sim's nose or somebody's chin or something like that, you know, what if there's a person here in chat whose chin looks like that, and now you've just been like, look at how ugly they are because of their chin, and how does it make the person in chat feel that looks like that? You know, like, it just, there's a little bit more care that needs to be taken when discussing, like, physical features of a person. Obviously, it's a sim, but, like, there's a lot of people here, and people have feelings, and it's just not, like, a nice thing to do to make fun of, like, how people look, you know? Um... So you could be like, haha, the color of her shirt's ugly. But like, maybe don't say, haha, her nose is ugly. Because <laughs> a lot of people are really insecure, and I, myself included, right? Like, it just, um, so it's no fun to, to make fun of people's, like, physical features in any situation. So try to avoid that kind of thing. Um, and it kind of sucks when it's, like, happening a lot in chat, which is why I don't really love um, doing cast stuff on stream, because it feels like it brings out a lot of it, so... Again, nobody necessarily means any harm, but even if you didn't intend harm with a message, sometimes it can cause it, so we try to avoid it, right? Um, but anyway, <laughs> just keep that in mind. It's, it's best to be nice, so. It's a little bit easier when people are, like, criticizing Sims builds, because, like, I, I think people are less likely to take, like, deep personal offense to a comment about, like, a wallpaper or, like, a wall color than about, like, a physical feature, because it plays on insecurity so much, so. Okay. Advanced editing cast. I'll, I'll dress up the other Sim, too. Well, mm -hmm. loves you, not yeah, that's the thing, Jennifer. It really, it really sucks when people do stuff like that. Um, I don't think that they, they think about how hurtful that can be to have to read it in chat, so. Anyway, <laughs> I don't mean to have to talk about this too much. I feel like we have this conversation every time we go into create a sim, but uh, that's why, so. Okay, so this sim is artistic, clumsy, eccentric, and family-oriented. Those are actually pretty good traits. Um, she also likes aqua, soul music, and sushi, and is a Leo. Um, okay, let me get some different eyebrows, maybe. I kind of like those. I actually kind of like this haircut, if I'm being honest. I think that's kind of cute. Uh, maybe we could pick... I don't know what shirt to pick. <laughs> maybe I'll make it aqua, like she talked about liking. Although, I don't love the shape of a lot of these. Hmm. Hmm. We could wear a tank top. That could be kind of cute. And we can make it that kind of like, nice color. Oh, oops. Oh, is there a different swatch? That's probably better. Maybe make this white? Oh, no. No, no, no. Maybe just the top can be white. How about that? I used to like this tank top a lot. I, I used it all the time. Yeah, this sim is really pretty. I feel like they're both pretty cool looking. I'm excited about these sims. There's a horseshoe on the back of those shorts, but I think that's okay. <laughs> I think that's okay. We'll, we'll never notice it really, so <laughs> who cares, right? That is fine. Um, mm. It's a little yeehaw moment, similar to her brother's outfit, right? You know, Katie, we talked about the Sim who's currently a toddler being the heir, because I'm kind of interested in having that sim be very close to their imaginary friend <laughs> and um and us ending up marrying the imaginary friend i think i'm gonna have both these two wear the same dress but in different colors to prom i kind of like that idea it might be kind of cute for the twins right okay let's do that and then for sleepwear honestly you can wear anything i don't really mind can wear some like sweatpants or something and just a t-shirt. That would be easy. 
We can wear a tank top. That's fine. I actually like the different colored slippers. It looks like realistic to me. <laughs> um, Emma, I usually stream for about three hours, so I'll probably be here for like another half an hour, most likely. Uh, that's how long I'm usually streaming for, so. Okay. Really, Christine? I Yeah, I mean, that makes sense though, right? That we have a very similar taste in Sims 3 clothes. <laughs> Um, it's funny because I'm I feel like I'm going back and just using all the same things that I used to always use But I guess kind of trying to I don't know. I Don't know use some slightly different things. I like that. I like the flippers, too And then I don't like those jeans on her um, We can just wear like a little coat We can get some simple jeans get some little sneakers and then I'll get rid of the gloves too this should make it easy okay everybody's got like some basic outfits on that'll be good that should help okay okay maybe I'll um I really liked their little room though do I have to redo it yet maybe I'll wait I think they can wait they can have their room redone maybe later, because I want to keep it for now. Okay, grab a slice of cake. Grab a slice of cake. You're playing with the imaginary friend. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What am I doing? Well, I just aged up some of my kids into teens. So... Is this Alice or Nessie? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have to look. I'm not sure. I'll triple check. I'll triple check. Uh, once the game finishes saving, I'll check. Yeah, I named the imaginary friend Bella. So, so the beds get made? Yeah, you can make the beds, Ladybug. Um, the beds are all unmade because my Sims just left them unmade. But you can make the bed. Like, I could click on this and make the bed. Um, neat sims will like autonomously always make the bed obviously stuff like that, but it's a it's a kind of cute little gameplay feature there That the beds like are unmade when they wake up and then they can choose to make them I'm gonna say that you peed because otherwise you're gonna pee your pants and that's gonna be annoying so Okay Everyone Take care of your little needs here your bladder need is low, so is yours. Come use this upstairs. Okay. No, the other kids haven't kept their imaginary friends, so... This is our last chance. <laughs> uh, this is our last chance to try, because I, I didn't do it with the other ones. Okay, use the bathroom. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. I'm gonna be honest, I have no clue what that sound is. Absolutely not a clue what that sound is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded kind of sad, didn't it? Everything seems fine. Have you got any robbers yet? Not in this household, no, luckily. Um, I made a video playing with, um, with this pack. Oh, can you wake up and put the kid in the bed? Wait, do you want to feed the kid first? Um, with the Generations pack, and I got robbed the first night. So, <laughs> I posted a YouTube video of that last weekend. So that was fun. I suppose. What are you doing? I thought I told you to pee upstairs. Oh my god. Just, that's fine. Just, I'll cheat it and say you did, and you can go to sleep. You can go to sleep. Why is no one sleeping like I told them to? You are going to sleep, you're just- you're stuck, maybe? Did you feed the baby? I'm gonna say you did. I'm stressed. Put Jacob in crib. Come on. Oh, how I miss spiral staircases? I know, they were so nice. Okay. Everyone to bed. You go back to bed. At least we don't have to go to work tomorrow. I never have to go to work. Because I have, like, permanent time off, it seems. 
which would be nice, but I'd like to also progress in my career, <laughs> you know? That would be fun too, so. Hope we get burglars in The Sims 4. Yeah, the burglars in The Sims 3 were kind of fun. They'd show up and try and break into your house and steal your stuff. PTO isn't paid time off, it's permanent time off. Yeah, as far as The Sims 3 is concerned, it sure seems like it, huh? Yeah, I think the Tiberium doesn't have enough space to grow over here. I think I might need to put it somewhere else. Because it's not working. So maybe I'll just put it on the porch and we'll see if it does better on the porch. Give it some time. Because it's not been working. And I've been trying. I think, because it was kind of under the stairs, that might have been the problem, so. Okay. Unfortunately... Oh, you don't have to go to work today. Oh, good, because you have time off too. Because they got married and got time off. Okay, that'll be fine. Wait, why are you playing? No, sleep. I'll put his energy back to where it was. That's annoying. Do you know the Sims 4 packs go on sale? Are, uh, they don't tell me anything like that, but are they, I was gonna say, I feel like they should be on sale now. Are they not? They didn't do like a sale to celebrate the Sims birthday. That was actually rude of them. Today's the Sims 20th anniversary. I think one just finished though. I think that a Sims sale just ended. So maybe that's why they aren't. There'll probably be a sale again soon. They were on sale until February 2nd. Oh no. Oh, Bestie, you just missed it. Did I say 22nd anniversary? I meant 23rd. Um, it came out in 2000. I knew what I meant to say. <laughs> I don't know why I said it wrong. I don't know what I said. Um, came out in February 2000, so. Put the gem outside in a large area, nothing near it will grow. I feel like I used to not have to put it like in the middle of nowhere for it to work. I understand why it was like not growing because I had put it under the stairs, but. I said 20th. Oh, did I say 20th? Oh, well it's the 23rd. <laughs> I made a video joking about the Sims 20th anniversary hot tub today in my defense. So it's been on my mind. <laughs> the 20 years thing's been on my, on my mind, so. Okay. I think today I'm probably gonna work on a lot of skill building. You are not having another child. You are absolutely not under any circumstances having another child. How could you even suggest such a thing? <laughs> when will the shell tour YouTube video be out? I think I'm gonna post it on Tuesday. That's my plan at least. So, well, there is room for one more. You know, I think that's okay. <laughs> I think I'll probably pass on that, you know? Okay, well, the school bus never comes from my Sims anymore. So I'm just gonna send them to school to make sure they go. It's too early. Do you know what you could do? You could go to the gym and work on your skills a bit more while you have the day off. Okay, go work out. Then you can work on writing. An accident? I don't wanna have an accident, baby. <laughs> I do not wanna have a baby at all. I have enough babies. I don't need more babies. That is actually the last thing that I need right now is more babies. Oh, who woke the kid up? Okay. Well, maybe I'll give you some toys. I have a little bit more money, so I can give you like one of these. Do you wanna come play with it? You're gonna go work out. I can sell this ticket. You're gonna keep writing as long as you can. All right, things are going okay. Things are going okay. Do the childhood aspirations matter at all for the Not So Berry Challenge? No, Ivy, I mean, not technically. Like, you don't have to finish them for the challenge, or you don't need to um, pick a certain one for the challenge. One thing to note, though, I guess, is that when you're playing Not So Berry, it's probably in your best interest to, like, work on those childhood aspirations and skills, because you get, like, a big bonus, you know? Um, you you kind of gain a lot from 
uh, like getting the bonus traits and stuff. So, oh, sorry. It might be worth like trying to, to work on those kid aspirations, but you don't have to. I'm so curious to see what the new kid aspirations in The Sims 4 are gonna be, because they said we're gonna get more in the new pack. I'm actually really excited about that. I've been wanting more of them for so long. So I'm really looking forward to getting more. You're not going to France and interviewing a local Sim. I'm sorry, but you're just not. You're just not. Okay, keep writing. I made you yawn, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got that effect on people, I fear. But it'll be fun to have some more. Yeah, they kind of named a few of them, but um, I'm curious to see like what the actual steps of them are and stuff. So it'll be fun to, to have those and have some more options. But yeah, I remember the names from, they, they named them in the, um, in the blog posts, but we haven't seen all the specifics, you know? Edward Swan like to go over to Coda Fox's after school. Yes, that's the person that asked me to prom. That's the guy that we've kind of been like dating a little. I finished the book. Very nice. You're not having another baby. Oh my God. Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, feed Jacob on the floor, maybe. Because the kid's a little hungry. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Did I know about the infant update before? Okay, I feel like I should answer this question again because people were accusing me of being a liar yesterday and I, I had what I consider to be a good example. So, obviously, when I got asked to do the builds for the new pack, um, they did, like, tell me that the infant update was coming because um, that way I would, you know, be able to know about it to, like, I had to put cribs in the build, you know? Um, but I think people took that as, like, your excitement was fake! Like, you're a pretender because you knew about it! You pretended to be excited in the live stream! That was a lot of the comments that I was getting. Um, but I gave the example yesterday of, like, Sure, I knew about it, right? But I hadn't seen them. So seeing them and seeing the animations and all of that, that was like obviously very exciting to me because I hadn't seen it yet. Um, and I compared it to like, obviously you guys knew the name of the expansion pack, but you hadn't seen what comes in it until we got the trailer. And like you knew they, what they had been teasing, but we hadn't actually seen it. Doesn't mean that you weren't excited because you knew that like, sure, the thing was coming, but you didn't know what it was actually gonna be like you didn't you know it's gonna be a family pack but you didn't know what the features were um so i kind of compared it to that um how obviously it was still really exciting because i hadn't actually seen any of it yet you know um my sim is too hungry to repair that right now okay <laughs> okay uh yeah i was i was very excited about the baby update um and seeing it but i did technically know about it for a while because they told me it was coming because obviously it was going to be a thing that I had to worry about, so. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna see about repairing this TV. Because he needs to work on that. Maybe I'll be able to upgrade it once he finishes repairing it, too. That'll be good. He can repair things so quickly. Upgrade to unbreakable. That'll be so useful. Okay, yeah, you focus on that. Put the baby to bed. He's getting a call that I refuse to answer. Oh, you know what we could do? Let me have the other kids join a after school activity. Um, surely, surely teens don't have online dating profiles. That must be like a glitch that that's there. Do you wanna join art club? What is that? Why is that happening? <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. Well, anyway. Just stop, I'm... <sighs> now it's gone, well. Well, I thought it was the mom. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Um. That's super weird. You wanna copy someone's homework? Don't do that. Do you wanna sign up for after school class newspaper club? That could be kind of cute. 
Oh, well, yeah, Lentil. Obviously, people that were involved in it signed NDAs. Obviously, I couldn't talk about it. <laughs> um, that was 100% absolutely not allowed. So, um, that would not have been good. Okay, did you finish repairing it, the whole thing? No, you didn't. Go. Oh, he, I mean, he repaired it, but he didn't fix it. Or, no, he repaired it, but he didn't upgrade it, is what I'm trying to say. Eat leftovers, tofu dog. Come on. Come on. Okay. Put that away. You broke the computer? Now he has to fix that too? Well, why did you do that? That is annoying of you. Do your homework. Oh! I forgot about the boy. Sims 3 had curved stairs? Yeah, we had spiral staircases. Um... Guys, I gotta change his hair. I can't. A tour of the upgraded house? Oh, I really haven't changed much since we last played. <laughs> I can show you, but there's a whole empty upstairs. I'm gonna try and change this guy's hair first. Um, know his character? It's too much. It's too much. Am I gonna do separate rooms for the twins? Um, maybe. I don't have enough money to like properly upgrade things the way that I want to yet, so I have to- we have to wait, but... I'll just edit him and cast like this. No, we're not doing a hundred, baby. I just have five kids and it was a mistake. Wow. Wow. I actually kind of like that hairstyle. Maybe I'll make him have like... Should he have red hair? It's kind of like an ode to... And maybe we could... Shall I frost the tips? Who is he? My sim's been kind of talking to this guy. He asked me to prom. Easily impressed, evil, loves the outdoors, natural cook. Why does he have to be evil? Why is everybody that tries to date my sims evil? Why? That just feels like so unfair. <laughs> We're kind of good friends with him as well. Maybe I'll ask if he's single. Flirt, compliment personality. Isn't your sim evil? Well, not this guy. I'm just socially awkward, a bookworm, a virtuoso, and perceptive. <gasps> you have a girlfriend? Well, then why did you ask me to prom? Oh my god. Well, I'm attracted to him. So that's a good sign. He can dump the girlfriend. That's no worries. I don't need to worry about that. We can fix that. So. Oh my god, he kissed me. His parents are right here. <laughs> golden tongue, golden fingers. I'm not gonna pick that yet. Romantic interest. Oh no. And he's got a girlfriend that's somebody else. Angelique Pelly wants to know if Edward Swan would like to go on a date. Oh my god, someone else wants to bring me on a date? Well, I just gotta see who she is, okay? Because what if she's cute? This is important. This is bad. What I'm doing is bad. Where is she? Is that her? Angelique Pelly. Are you a teen? You look like Nancy Landgrab. Is that his girlfriend? <gasps> That's his girlfriend! Oh my god, I didn't even- Oh no. Oh no, I just kissed your boyfriend. Greet her rudely. <laughs> uh, accuse her of being a diva. Argue with her. You doing asking me on a date? 
He's attracted to her though. It says attractive company. Petty jab. Oh, point out flaws. You want to be super popular? Okay. <laughs> now is not the best way to do that. Date them both? Guys, it's too late! I'm being unforgivably rude! I stole your boyfriend. So, oh, it's my curfew! Oh no, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go! Sorry. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! I'll deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> I can't believe he has a girlfriend! It's fine. I'll get rid of her. I'm not worried about it. She said I'm thinking of leaving soon. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Let me repair this while I'm here. Okay. Tomorrow should be prom, which is actually extremely exciting. I'm gonna send everybody to bed. It looks like everyone's going to bed anyway. Do you wanna give Jacob a bath? Maybe? Yes? 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 Come on. You know, Eros, I really gotta clarify. I can't answer too many questions, but you also have to keep in mind just how early it was when I was doing these builds. Um, to give you some context, you could maybe, if you wanted to, go back and watch the videos that I made when I built the lots for Snowy Escape, because um, that would probably help. Uh, help you understand what we're talking about, but um, when I was building the lots for this pack, like when we first started, there wasn't anything. Like I, I built it base game and then added to it as they made the assets. Like there wasn't, you know, the new windows or whatever yet. Like they, they, we didn't even have them. I just, we had to wait until they were made. So we were playing this super early on. So I think that I know a lot less about what comes in the pack and like what's coming in the updates and stuff than you think because it just wasn't done or there yet. Does that make sense? Um, very similar to what happened with Snowy Escape where we were building like, and there wasn't a lot going on. So, um, cause it just wasn't done. <laughs> it just wasn't done. That's kind of the whole point of being involved with something when it's, when it's being made still is that it's not done, so. Um, okay, come along, everyone to bed. I'm gonna actually cheat this one's needs down and like make you sleep through the night again because it's annoying that you're like not tired. So, okay, is that the sound of an alien? Yeah, exactly, like, um, in Snowy Escape, the world that is snowy, it wasn't snowy for a really long time. You know, like, things changed um, so much. Oh my god. Huh. I'm trying to avoid that, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to get involved with an alien. I'd like to stay away, if at all possible. So- <gasps> Yes! Oh my god, sorry, sorry. It finally grew. This is what I mean. Do you see how it used to be worth like 7,000? And now it's worth 46,851? That's what I was talking about. Thank you very much. Okay, next time we play, I'm gonna be able to really finish the house. <laughs> we can really add stuff to it. What is that? It's Tiberium. It's a gem that you can find. Um, and if you cut it into a spire cut and then leave it out, it grows. I wasn't kidding. It's just that one specifically. But that's some good money. So now we can afford to finish the house next time we play. I'm feeling very good about this. <laughs> we can like get another bathroom and stuff too. That'll be really nice. Um, I wonder if we could maybe, I don't know how I'm gonna rearrange the house, but we can also like redo the backyard and stuff. I don't know. Thank you to my dog Fishfinger for completely carrying. It is because of you Fishfinger that I have this whole house. 
Like literally just because of you, Fishfinger, and I'm I'm not even exaggerating. That's the bills. Oh my god, go pay them. Oh. Creepy gnome. Okay. Yeah, let me pay the Ah! <laughs> the alien's outside! Can you leave? Huh. You know, <laughs> that was really interesting. So, okay, <laughs> sure. Just fine, that's fine, sure. I paid the bills, or I am paying the bills, I should say. And then I'll go back to bed. All right. It is now a Saturday morning. And it also happens to be the day of prom, which is kind of fun. So, we got a lot to look forward to. Okay. Have 50k you can decorate now? Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do it in the beginning of next stream. Cause I'm gonna get off stream in a few minutes here, so I'll probably spend a lot of time like properly decorating next time around. Um, Cause we can like really, really add to the house nowadays with all this that we've got. I can like finish the back and stuff, uh oh. But we can like, you know, get a better back patio. I could probably buy a fence if I wanted. Maybe I will do that now. Cause that would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Give the dog a bath, please. No, I'm just gonna cheat the, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna cheat the dirt away, actually. <laughs> oh my god, look, also in The Sims 3, you used to be able to draw the fence all the way to the edge of the lot. Isn't that interesting? You can't do that in The Sims 4. Um, it has to be like a tile close to the lot, but we could draw it all the way to the edge of the lot. So, things were different back then. <sighs> Fence on the property line and everything. <laughs> Isn't that interesting though? Oh, I like having a fence. Wait, I should have gotten a gate. I didn't think about that. I might even want to get like two fence gates. Yeah. That's probably better. <gasps> hey, Andrew, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Uh, I'm playing The Sims 3 today. I didn't mean to go into live mode. We're playing The Sims 3 today. I've, I've sort of started a new legacy challenge recently. Um, so I've been playing it a lot. Oh, maybe I'll put one in the back. I don't know. At the moment, I've got five kids, which was kind of a huge error. <laughs> I, I, uh, I wanted to do this aspiration where I raise like the five kids from babies to teens, but oh my God, has it been a nightmare. Um, but now I've got four of them as teens, and I got one as a toddler still. So, um, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And this one, I think I'm gonna try and do the imaginary friend stuff. So wish me luck. Cause yikes. <laughs> That's what we've been up to. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's been a while since I last did that, so. Um, okay. Is that one of your siblings? Are you waking the kid up and like forcing it why would you do that? What is your problem? I guess it's fully rested, so. Quit job? No! We're not getting Bill and Hilda either. Well, I could. Wait. Where? Where is Bone Hilda in The Sims 3? In activities? Entertainment. You think miscellaneous entertainment? Yeah, Bone Hilda living quarters. Okay. She can have her own room for a sec. Oh, and with the alarms, that's right. She's with the alarms too. Awaken Bone Hilda. Come on. Come on. 
when Hilda's in build mode. Yeah, Sims 4 is different than Sims 3. Um, with the way that you get Bone Hilda. So. Look, here she goes. Exciting stuff! Okay, maybe I'll buy a better shower while I'm here. I've got a whole lot of money, so we could get a slight upgrade. That one's kind of modern looking. Oh my god, okay. Wow. No, put that in the tile section. And then do that with the white. That's okay. It's a better one now anyway. I can't fix the toilet because she's using it. Yeah, in The Sims 4, you have to do more to like actually summon Bone Hilda. Um, there's more effort that goes into it. It's a lot easier in this game. Which isn't, I mean, it's not good or bad. I think it, you know. So, just gonna leave the shower in the hall. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here it's pay to win, yeah. Where'd all the money come from? Oh, I, I uh, was growing this Tiberium so that I could get rich. And then I, it finished growing and then I sold it. Basically, long story short, my dog found me some Tiberium. Um, and then I, I cut it into a spire cut and left it out to grow. And then I got 46,000 simoleons. So, not a joke. That's actually how it works. <laughs> so. <laughs> Things have been going really well. <laughs> um, yeah, she's in the Sims 3 uh, Supernatural Bone Hilda. And in the Sims 4, she's actually from Paranormal Stuff, Dika. Um, okay. I'm making the dog look for gems for me again, but I probably don't even need to have you do that, to be honest. Okay, what do you want to do? Water plants? Don't have any. Hire an executive butler? Don't really want that either. You get rich and all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Oh, no way, Annie! Well, hey, welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you could make it. Uh, that's so cool that you got to hang out in the in the Twitch chat live for a bit. Um, am I getting, like, love letters in the mail? I'm finding that uncomfortable. I don't... I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna serve up some, how about some peanut butter and jellies or something? Just for now. Didn't really see Snap this stream. Oh, she was here for a while in the beginning, sitting on my desk. Um, so don't worry, she has been here. <laughs> I think she's downstairs again, so. Yeah, there'll be another Minecraft stream. We'll play Minecraft soon. Um, as far as the next couple of streams go, we can talk about stream schedule stuff for a second. Because, uh, actually on Monday, we're doing a baking stream. Because Monday is Rick Astley's birthday. And so we have to celebrate, obviously. Um, and so we're gonna be doing a Rick Roll baking stream on, um, on Monday. <laughs> And then, uh, on Tuesday, I thought we would play Minecraft again. Um, and then I'm not really sure about the rest of the week. Obviously, we'll play some Sims and stuff for the most part, but those are the next couple stream days. And I won't stream tomorrow. I don't usually stream on Sundays, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> Rick roll like Swiss roll? Yeah, I was gonna make, um, a Swiss roll. I, a second attempt, because last year I didn't do that good of a job. It kind of crumbled. And then I'm also gonna make, um, some cinnamon rolls. That's the plan, both of them. So yeah, at the normal time, we'll, we'll make them at um, four o'clock Eastern time on Monday. So like this time, I will have gone live like three hours ago, but we'll, um... ooh, pear cut fluorite. Cut another stack of gems. This thing, this gem cutter is from Supernatural. It's super useful. I don't really need this extra money right now, but I'm gonna get it just to be safe. Because if I'm going to upgrade my house, I'm going to buy myself some fancy things, you know? I'll get like a nicer bed. I might even make it bigger. I don't know. We'll do all kinds of things. Will Dan be joining the festivities on Monday? Well, Dan's going to be streaming too, but he might- <gasps> 
Supernovium. 4,500. Fish Finger is like really carrying right now. <laughs> Fish Finger is the reason we have all this money. If it weren't for, for her, we'd be doomed. <laughs> we'd be doomed. Fish Finger is the best. So, sole breadwinner, truly. This is Fish Finger's house. <laughs> No one else is making any money around here. They get like a hundred simoleons a day. Like it's useless. My face cam is still down here. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. That's been since I was in cast. Oops. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to move it. Because I knew I was gonna forget. <laughs> I don't look at my own stream like that. Um, that's why I was uh I didn't want to move it in cast because I knew I was gonna forget. Okay. Oh, you have to read this for work. I probably waited too long, huh? Oh, you have to go to the gym too. Let's go to that. Let's go do that now. You didn't notice either? Yeah. <laughs> None of us are paying any attention. Um, okay. You were at the gym. I guess the kids could probably try and finish some homework today. Oh, the one of them did at least already. One of the adults jobs. Um, Trevor is in the uh the military career, only level two though. And Ivy is in the education career, only level three, because I just got Trevor when I got married to him recently. Um, and Ivy, because she had babies and The Sims forces you to have maternity leave for so many days, she's like never gotten to go to work. So, I just got Trevor. Well, you know what I mean? Like I just, <laughs> I just got Trevor in my household. Um, it's been, he's been a recent addition to the family. <laughs> I realize that does sound kind of weird. Um, okay. Play with the imaginary friend. I'm gonna get some screenshots of this too. We acquired Trevor, there you go. We might want this as the thumbnail, you never know. Oh God. Can't believe I got myself in this situation. It's okay. It's okay. Also, how old is- <gasps> I'm done. I'm not kidding. I'm not, I'm not unpausing the game. I'm done. I'm ending stream. <laughs> Fish finger is not dying today. I actually refuse. I'm not, that's not, no. <laughs> it's not happening. I'm not doing that. Fish finger is an elder and the bar is full. It's just not happening. I'm just not, I'm not doing that. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to go on after this. Uh, and frankly, I'm choosing not to, so not today. <laughs> Fish finger, you don't deserve this. You're my best friend. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna save the game again. I'm done. I'm done for today. We're co we'll come back in a few days. I can't. I can't. I was gonna get off stream soon anyway, but now that I've seen that, I'm not risking it. I'm not. Miss <laughs> Warren, so thank you for the subs. I don't even think Fishfinger will get to see her house finish. No. Okay, well, next time we play, though, um, maybe on... How about, like, next... How about next Friday, maybe, we could play? Um, next time we play, we could... We'll build the house and really celebrate Fishfinger and all of her accomplishments. And then... I'm putting it on my schedule. Um, and then if we're in build mode, she can't die. You know? That's a good idea. Fish Finger's always here at the tattoo parlor for some reason. I don't know what she's up to, but she's always here. I think she works here. Okay, I'm gonna get a screenshot of her because I'm gonna miss this little dog. I love you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she wants a tattoo, I don't know. Um, all right, well, let me go see who all is live then. Uh, and we'll see We'll see where we maybe want to go hang out. Um, thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. It's been fun. You know I love The Sims 3. <laughs> the Sims 3 is such a fun game. Um, but maybe we could go and say hello to somebody else who is simming. Um, like, oh, you know what? Dare I say... My friend Chelsea is live. 
playing The Sims 4, doing a 100 baby challenge. Oh my God. Truly, I wish you the best of luck with that endeavor. Oh my goodness. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, Shells is simming right now. That could be kind of fun to go over and say hi to. Um, the Sims 4 even. Shells plays mostly when she plays The Sims these days. It's mostly The Sims 3. So um, that would be kind of fun to go over and see. Honestly, I'm, I'm, uh, this baby challenge, starting it now before the update is brave, <laughs> but we can go see how far she's gotten. Um, and then maybe, maybe we'll consider playing some 100 baby challenge once the baby update comes out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, have a great rest of your night, everybody. Um, thank you for hanging out. Goodbye, fish finger for now. I'll be back in a couple days. <laughs> Um, and I'll see you all on Monday for our baking stream, okay? All right. Blonde and, and LJ and RK, thank you for the subs. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Okay, stop stream.